Uh, new faces mostly, but we do have one returning face. That of... Oh my god. Uh, that of Tall School. What's up, Tall School? Wait, you're muted. I think. <laughs> drink. There we go. Uh, Get that drink down. Uh, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, always fun to be back on Encounter Roleplay. So, uh, looking forward to playing some domes. Been watching it uh, every night last week, and then some again uh, right before this. And uh, can't wait to play it myself. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, who are you playing today, sir? Uh, I am back with, uh, if y'all watched on Monday, my uh, wild magic sorcerer, uh, who is uh, Bartholomew Stick Plowman. He is from the southern part of the uh, of the continent here, and uh, he's just happy to be here and going to have a good old time. Bippity boppy boo y'all, let's go. <laughs> Perfect. I can't, I can't wait to meet this character. I've heard a lot about him, uh, and I watched the VOD. Uh, from Monday, and so I'm pretty uh, <laughs> pretty excited to meet our friend here. Uh, who else have we got? We've got a uh, Karaktu. What's up, my friend? Uh, you're muted as well. Good Danny evening. Out. There we go. Nailed it. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? It's all good? Uh, too hot. I've been sweating all day. I feel like I've been, I don't know, in a bath all the day. <laughs> yeah. wrinkly. Yeah, oh, nice. Nice and pruny. Hmm. Um, <laughs> so... Who, uh, who are you going to be playing today, sir? Well, I just rolled up my character quickly. Uh, his name is Tarasios. He's a tiefling paladin of vengeance. Ooh, excellent. So, uh, he, he travels the world seeking to destroy all evil. That's, that's his goal. Awesome. Awesome. Um, and we also have with us a Joseph. What's up, my friend? Hey, how's it going? It's going good, dude. It's going good. Um, yeah, not muted. Yeah. Yeah, you know it, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. He's a pro. Yeah, yeah, brownie, brownie points for you, my friend. Um, so, um, so who are you gonna be playing today, sir? Uh, I just rolled up my um, high elf fighter. His name is Sereth. Um, kind of a little bit more vain in his um, desires. He's kind of a thief or enforcer, what have you. But um, isn't afraid to throw down if it means uh, defending the innocent, if you will. Excellent, cool. Um, these guys are all level one, by the way. I know that question probably coming as well. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I remember one of the good old days when the chat was just me shit posting. Those were the good old days, my friend. Uh, and then finally, we have a Michael with us. What's up, Michael? So that's what you marks on now. Yes. Yeah, um, we we hear you. We hear nice, you. nice, nice. So uh, super excited. Yes. So, um, now I will be playing uh, soon on Arkenway, a uh, drow sorcerer. Excellent. So tell, mm -hmm. it, tell us a little bit about him. What kind of guy is he? Uh, born and raised, Menzo Branson. Like the Drew Stewart and the, the famous traitor. We all know him. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> he uh, born wealth, power. He uh, studied arcane, the demons, summoning, banishing, bindings, all that good stuff all his life. And uh, at one point, when he was even thought, gone from this world uh he uh he was approached by a, a scaled beast which name will be uh, gone for now uh who told him that his family line had uh secrets and uh mm. should he choose to try and unveil those secrets this beast would help him achieve uh, power beyond measure ah i see uh, interesting just, very cool, very cool. All right, cool. Um, so if you guys could do me a favor, and if you just pop your um, character names in the Zoom chat, just so I can uh, put them in, because spellings are usually weird on D&D names and stuff like that. Um, so that would be great. Um, but before uh, we dive into playing the game and all that good nonsense that we're supposed to be here to do, um, if you guys are new, do hit that follow button and join us. We hit 40 followers today. Uh, you guys are going to decide something which happens in our game, so go ahead and do it if you haven't already. Uh, we actually have a viewer decision to do from last game. We hit 30 right at the very end there, so we're going to throw some madness at these guys. Well, what is a viewer decision? I hear you cry. Well, I reply in my subtle voice of... I don't know. I don't know where I was going. Uh, but yeah, you um, basically, you guys get to throw into chat some ideas as to what could happen next in our story. You could throw to, uh, to Rask at them. You could throw a squirrel that is in love with them. Uh, and um, yeah, you guys get to decide. So uh, also, there is a tweet 
Uh, the tweet is here in the chat, so go ahead and retweet that. When that tweet hits 20, then you guys get to decide what happens next. Um, quick reminder to Lowe's uh, with... <laughs> Will Sato, yeah, I just make dick jokes. Uh, so Lowe's in Zoom, if you're going to type, mute yourself, because otherwise it comes from a stream and gives us all the old ear raids, which is, you know, we're used to, but it's okay. So, um... <laughs> We'll get your character names on screen in a second, but the basic premise for today uh, is that anyone can come along and play. So um, here's the link if you want to play next week, then there it is. Um, we're also playing Domes of Ishak Zahur this week. We've been playing all last week and some of this week. This is actually our last session of Domes, unfortunately. Uh, but I might come back and play it again next week just for funsies anyway, because it's a lot of fun. Um, they're on Kickstarter. They are almost funded. They're like $300 away with four days left to go. So get them over that mark if possible, guys. Uh, if you like the, the project and what they're doing, then uh, go support some indie creators and the game which they're making. So it's been a lot of fun thus far, and hopefully we can show you some more today. So the basic premise of the story today is that you guys have been hired by a gnomish archaeologist named Yorvis. Uh, Yorvis is a, uh, an eccentric by all accounts, but he's paid you 500 gold up front to get you to his camp here. Uh, on the map, and feel free to, to drag your tokens in uh, to this as well. So, um, I've got a camp all around. You've got a barracks here where men are drinking. You've got a, an el blonde elf living here called Latredo. There's a supply tent down here. Uh, Gil, a sorceress blonde lady, uh, is within her tent here. And Yorvis himself is where you guys are at right here in Yorvis's tent. He is a short, stubby little gnome uh, with a passion for archaeology and a, well, general lack of of real information, but a, a great dearth. Well, no, no, a great wealth of money, in fact. He's paid you a lot of money, he's going to pay you a lot more to investigate a dome. Uh, so, what is a dome? Well, you've heard that um, these uh, ancient Narthenine tombs are referred to as domes. You've come to the, sh the city of Achashin, uh, which is a burning hot desert land uh, within which there is this, uh, this camp. And... Um, there's kind of ancient cit uh, ancient kind of like cities and cultures that people like to explore for money here, and that's basically uh, what Yorvis is doing. Uh, so uh, let me just bring in the dice box. There we go. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's quickly get some visual descriptions of your characters before we do anything else. So you guys are in a baking hot desert. Level one characters outside Yorvis' tent, keen, eager for adventure and for money and gold. Uh, so uh, let's start with. Karaktu. So, Karaktu, um, Tarasios. Tarasios, like yeah. Tar Tarasios, okay. Um, what does he look like? Well, the easiest word to describe him would be devil. He's <laughs> a tiefling with crimson red skin mm. and pitch black eyes and a beard similar to mine. Um, and somehow, even though he's a paladin of good he just has that aura of menace and threatening just threatening in his whole demeanor nice nice uh cool and so that is uh Tarsios. and then we have stick so stick what's up oh. uh what do you well, look like stick stick is, stick is a southern boy i mean he uh he is a uh, tall uh, half elf. He's probably like six three, maybe weighs a buck twenty, soaking wet. That's kind of how he got his name, is Stick. And uh, just a good old boy. He, uh, you know, he's a sorcerer, so he doesn't wear much armor. So he uh, is just kind of out there in his uh, equivalent uh, dungarees and a uh, and a, a white uh, tank top, and uh, has blonde uh, sort of straw blonde hair, uh, and uh, is just is just happy to be here. <laughs> awesome. Um, and uh, Joseph, what does... Let's see. I can't remember your character's name. Uh, Seraph. Seraph. What does Seraph look like? Um, he's uh, a little bit taller. Uh, I'd say probably around like 6'1 or 6'2. Um, he's, he's a little bit more jacked. He's not like, you know, bodybuilder or anything like that. But um, he's got some decent leather armor on. He's got his great sword across his back. He's got some rather long, um, more platinum blonde hair that's kind of kept together. It's not really a priority for him. Um, and he's got a couple markings on his, his head, his on his uh, face and right cheek. Um, he's He's got a pretty uh, 
pretty happy-go-lucky demeanor, except for the fact that we're stuck in a desert and uh, <laughs> it's not really his scene. But, right. you know, we'll make it work. It oh. gets paid. Of course, of course. Uh, and then finally, Michael, what does Zuntan look like? Uh, he sounds pretty muted to me. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Sorry, yeah. There we go. Uh, Zuntan is medium for an elf. Um, one, one seven. Get your length, white hair. Uh, you just tied in a knot, semi my halfway. And uh, he's got a black cloak, black boots, gloves. Um, and he's got a uh, strange tattoo on the back of his hand. That's what I did. Nice, cool. Um, so you guys stand before, um, stand before uh, Jorvis uh, at his tent, little gnome, uh, who just kind of bustles uh, up towards you. Oh, oh, so 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 nice to meet you. Uh, oh, oh, this is oh, 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 oh. Ah, uh, you must be uh, Stick. Is that correct? Howdy, how you doing? Oh, oh yes. So oh, I'm most most well, my friend. Most well. It's it's good to see you. Yeah, uh, Jorvis. Uh, my my name, of course, of course. Uh, yeah, and this must be Serif. Yep, uh, that's me. Uh, an honor, an honor to finally make your acquaintance, my friend. Uh, oh, uh, and and this must be Zan Zantone. Something like uh, that. Be, yes, that is correct. Oh well, uh, and then and then that makes you. Ah, uh, Tarasks, right? You're the Tarask? Tarasios. Right, right. Tara Tarasios, cool. Uh, well, um, yeah, like I say, um, well, uh, it's funny, uh, actually, because not three hours ago, uh, a bunch of uh, adventurers went down into the domes uh, looking for uh, another uh, band of um, adventurers. Um, uh, well, it's um, a bit of a problem, you see, because there was this chicken, uh, there was a lot of eggs, things went wrong, uh, and uh, long story short, they're all stuck down there, as far as I can tell. We haven't heard word from them, and we're, we're kind of worried about about uh, about them. So I'm um, looking uh, to hire you to go down into the dome, see if you can figure anything out, and see if they're still alive, or if they are, you know, <laughs> dead, uh, then you could, uh, you know... Try and bring me their bodies, I guess, or any well, mostly good things that they have on them. So, okay, nothing inspires confidence like a quest like that. <laughs> right? Yeah, he he looks completely enthusiastically and. <laughs> so, uh, so no offense, my friend, but uh, what's in it for us other than getting ourselves killed down there? Uh, gold, of course. <laughs> yes, uh, well, gold, money, uh, and uh, once you were paid 500 gold up front, the second half will be returned to you upon completion of your task, and a cut of the any of the ooh, of riches that you might find inside this ancient tomb. <laughs> huh? There's some profit sharing. I don't mind that. What do you guys think? I mean... Sure. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's let's go save people in a in a tomb. That's that's great. That's sounds fun. As long there as there is evil to slay, I am happy. Well, real there, joker that one. There probably is some some evil to slay in there. So. Um, I, I guess then, then we're, we're in agreement then. Um, you can, of course, there, there, there are some guards in the barracks. If you're, if you're going to hire anyone on, I do suggest uh, Ozzy Osmosis Jones. Uh, is uh, He's a very strong fella. Uh, good with his eggs. Big protein lad. Uh, and, and then you, you could speak to Gil. Uh, she's the, the sorceress down in the tent just down to the south. Uh, she's uh, you know usually got a few tricks up her sleeves. Well, she doesn't have any sleeves, but yeah, you get a picture. Ah, oh, fellow sorceress. I might need to go say hello to her. And, uh, uh, are you a sorceress as well? I'm a sorcerer, thank you very much. Just checking, I don't judge. Uh, you're funny. Not really. <laughs> so, um... You, you, uh... Yours as well, I mean, uh, I've got, you know, things to be doing. Plans to be writing. 
Uh, and, and, and archaeologist things. Very, very intelligent, clever things. So, um, yes, if you would be on your way, bold adventurers. <laughs> sure. I'll go take a look at the camp, I guess. Have fun with your sorceress, bud. Hey, I plan on it, buddy. <laughs> um, so, uh, let's cut to, uh, we'll go with Stick for a second here. Uh, what was Tarasios and Zonton doing in this one? Because Seraph's going off into the camp, Stick's going to the sorceress. Who's going where? Uh, Stick is uh, heading down where that, where was that sorceress? Uh, she's down to the south, yeah. Uh, down here somewhere? Yeah, she is just, uh, I'll make your vision even bigger. I don't know where I have it. Let's just take it. Let's take it everywhere. Um, fuck. Like, that. So you should be able to see, uh, she's just, yeah. Uh, okay, I see Gil's tent. So I head over there to and say, uh, hello, I introduced myself. I kind of real casual, like, lean up kind of on the, you know, next to the opening of her tent and say, hi, ma'am, I'm, my name's Stick. Uh, she's a, a blonde uh, girl in her, like, mid-twenties. Um, and, uh, she, she's wearing this kind of, uh, desert bikini outfit thing. Um, the desert bikini, as it was dubbed last session. Um, and, um, she, um, she kind of turns with a smile and says, Oh, hello there, Mr. Mr. Stick. That would be Stick, ma'am. Wow. My real name, my, my given name is Bartholomew Plowman, but my friends and my close acquaintances call me Stick, so you can call me that, darling. Well, um, thank you, uh, Mr. Stick. How can I be of service to you today? Well, I hear you're a sorcerer, too. So I was kind of wondering what you knew about these uh, these here domes and uh, any uh, advice you could give me or any like, magical... Uh, tips and or tricks I could take with me. I'm going down there and rescuing them. You know, they call me in special lack. Oh, to, really? Uh, to come in and do some rescuing. Mm, yes, you're only the, well, uh, the third group that has been called in recently. Uh, most impressive. I use potions here. I, I brew them up. If you're looking for, um, if you're, I'm afraid if you're looking for um, anything else, I, I don't really have too much, but if you're Interested in potions? I, I'm happy to sell you some. Well, potion is always a uh, is welcome, ma'am. So, uh, what 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 kind of potions do you got in there? What you been brewing up, darling? <laughs> she she laughs, <laughs> uh, and says, "Oh, well, <laughs> all sorts of trouble," um, and oh, yeah. <laughs> opens up her uh, uh, opens up her chest, uh, the one on the floor, and. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> Uh, and inside, um, she, she brings out these kind of three uh, potions, two of which are kind of red liquid inside, and one of which is pink. Uh, and she says, uh, these two here are potions of healing, and it's this last one. Well, this, my friend, she kind of pops open a cork and says, is a potion of love. And it kind of <laughs> sticks it back in again. A love, a real live love potion? Oh, yes. All too real. Very, very interesting. Well, I certainly can always use some healing. As you know, uh, as sorcerers, we uh, we, we uh, don't get lots of... Uh, we don't get to, can take lots of hits. We can dish it out, but we can't take it so much. And boy, howdy, can I dish some of that out. I'm sure you can. So, so uh, for the two potions, uh, simply a uh, hundred gold... Well, I don't have hundred gold on me right now, darling. But uh, I'd be willing. I'd be willing to do some profit share with what all we bring on out of there. That and, seems uh, reasonable enough, assuming that you come back alive. Sounds good to me. So, tell you what, I'll I'll give you a cut of thirty percent of anything that I uh, uh, I bring on out of that there dope. Uh, she uh, she says very well. Yes, excellent. Um, and that love potion. Yes. I take that off your hands, but only if you'll share it with me. <laughs> and I, uh, I'm not quite sure that we'd need such a thing. You know, maybe we don't. Still, how much for that? It, 
Do you think it might come in useful for anything down there, or is it just a bunch of creepy crawlies? Oh, I... I don't know. Uh, maybe a, a ghoul or a ghast could be charmed by one such as yourself. It, this one would simply be a... Well, 50 gold, so... A little bit more of that share, perhaps? Tell you what, I'll get... How about another 5% and I will take you out for an evening you will never forget under these pretty desert stars that shine just as bright as your eyes. Oh, you... You really are a charmer. I, I'm afraid... Uh, this potion might be too strong for you, Traveler, but... I will give it to you anyway. That sounds great, darling. See, you take care of yourself. We'll see you real soon, okay? I... I'm looking forward to it. Give her a little, uh, double thumbs up in a wink. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, and you, you head out. Uh, and thank you to Grim Steps for following. Welcome to the adventure, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. All right, I'll stop the, the sexy jazz now. So, um, <laughs> yeah, you head out. So, Seraph, uh, Seraph Zondon and, uh, Tarasios. Uh, you guys are kind of out in the camp. Um, Seraph, it seemed like you wanted to, to do something. What was the uh, plan there? Basically, I wanted to see if there was anybody that would be willing to um, sort of give me a little bit more information on our generous quest giver, because he doesn't quite seem entirely forthright on some of the information he's given. Okay. Um, so you, uh, you know, you work your way around camp, you have a chat to a few people, and you end up... <laughs> um, do you end up uh, with uh, speaking to this, this gentleman named uh, Ozzy, uh, is, what, is what he calls himself. Uh, he, he currently has um, a fair few eggs uh, which are being kind of cooked up. Uh, he kind of begins to, to cook them and then he just kind of slaps them onto his body. He explains that via the process of osmosis, I gain protein. This is one very odd desert that I walked into. Hey, Ozzy. Hey. Uh, What's up, bro? Uh, any chance you got a little bit more information on our, uh, our... What's his name? What was his name again, Ozzy? I can't quite remember. Oh, that gnome? Yeah, yeah, the gnome. Yeah, that little uh, fuck. Uh, Yorvis. Yorvis. Ooh. Referring to him as fuck, that's a, that's a good sign. Uh, any information you can get me on him? Uh, no, but... If you're like going down into a dome, I can totally come with you, bro. Like, totally. Like, totally. Yeah, okay. Uh, what are you skilled in, if you don't mind me asking? Other than osmosis, which I'm clear, well, clear you are an expert. Obviously, in. I'm a master of protein. Um, but also, uh, I'm pretty good with this axe. Uh, and he slaps his axe onto the table. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. I I don't know if you've seen these muscles. And he kind of, like, flexes even further. But they can, like, hit things pretty hard. Yeah. Muscles can indeed do that. Uh, you going It's because of there. all the protein. Right, yeah. Protein. No, I'm going I... down there for my chicken. Ah, right. He mentioned something about a chicken. Egbert. Egbert. Yeah. Right. Lovely name. Very strong name. Um, he makes eggs. <laughs> for my skin. Does he? That's, uh, that's great. Um, so, um, anywhere I could get some, I don't know, equipment for, like, driving into a, a dungeon or There's a There's a supply tent down to the south you could have a look at. I, you know what? But I'll warn you, I... there's no eggs in it. I've taken them all. <laughs> sounds sounds good. I will uh, I will go check that out, and uh, we will let you know when we head out. Totally, as bro. I, as I leave, I completely face palm and make my way towards <laughs> the tent. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, Zanton, what are you doing in the camp? I am going to uh, see if I can find. Uh, a place that is secluded. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, you find a, a spare tent in camp. No one else is around. What are you going to do in the tent? There I, I ask. <laughs> and I am going to uh, see 
if uh, the voice in my head will speak to me or not. They, they sometimes do, they sometimes don't. Okay. Um, the, you try and uh, attune to the, the voices. Um, hmm, let's see. Uh, let's give me, just give me like a religion check, I guess. I know support, dude. It's so fucking hot in the UK at the moment. Sick. What happens in the tent stays in the tent. I know, I was afraid to ask him. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, shout out these rolls and you get them, by the way, folks, because they'll be tapping in and out of different things. I'd say uh, it's five. So, like. no voices in your head currently. They don't seem to be whispering anything yet. But they don't always, so that's not unusual. Mm, yeah, that's, that's a common thing. Yeah. Um, I'm just sigh a little disappointedly. I'm going to get up, walk up out, and see if I can find someone else from my group and join them. Okay, cool. Uh, what about Ta um, what about Tara? I'm going to call him Tara for now. I feel like I'm miss <laughs> <laughs> messing up the name. Okay, um, he's probably sitting down in the shadow of a palm tree, takes out his weapons, a huge glaive and a great sword. And takes a whetstone and starts sharpening them. That's all he does. Uh, Ozzy Osmosis Jones comes over and he's like, That's a pretty big whetstone you got there, bro. Well, these are pretty big weapons, too. Ah. Uh, do you mind if you, like, rub my whetstone? I mean, rub my axe on your whetstone? <laughs> I pretend I didn't hear this phrasing of yours, but fine. Thanks, man. Just, just rub it in, like, <laughs> just, yeah, just grind it, grind it good. Okay, I figured I'm done. Okay, uh, he heads off. Um, All <laughs> oh, uh, while his pure black eyes are on that guy, like I'm going to kill you when you do anything else night right now. <laughs> um, so he heads off. Uh, so Sarah, if you head to the supply tent. Uh, there, there is a, a bloke on the, uh, on a tent kind of door, and he says, um, he looks like a guard, he says, uh, alright, what you want, mate? Hey, you got any, uh, torches and du general dungeoneering stuff with you? Yeah, yeah, plenty of torches and stuff. You, your this is new lot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, <laughs> head on, uh, yeah, head on inside, uh, grab some torches, grab some rope, that sort of shit, you know. Alright, cool. No worries. Thank you, sir. So he lets you inside, uh, and yeah, you can you can basically pick up some some basic items that you get from adventurers, explorers kits, that sort of thing. Tinder, rope. Okay. Uh, torches, that sort of thing. Um, All right. Sweet. Any charge for any of these items, or he lets you take them. He says it's basically on the house, uh, awesome. from being in your office's employ. Uh, so we yeah, can assume that. Awesome. We can assume that the rest of you guys kind of grab some of those things as well over the course, you know. Um, and, um... <laughs> Will's broken me so many times tonight. <laughs> it's the Donger, man. The Donger is, is the best emote. There are some excellent combinations of Donger with other emotes. Give Plus is my favorite currently. Um, so, you, um... Yeah, let's, let's, uh, for the sake of experience, you guys hang out in a camp for a bit, get your bits together, uh, and decide to head on over uh, to the satellite camp, which is just where the, the dome itself is. Um, so it's a, a two or so hour journey over to the, um, Welcome. Uh, the dome. And thank you to Mr. Chester for following. Welcome to the adventure, my friend. You're a gentleman and a scholar. <laughs> I relate to Sway. <laughs> uh, but for Encounter Roleplay, it was merely Thursday. So, um, Hamster, you should do my, like, audio books, man. That'd be great. Um, so, so you, uh, you head over to the dome in the baking heat in the desert, sweating as you go. Uh, you know, you're probably, this is pretty doing great stuff for your, uh, you know, your physique. You're losing a lot of weight just through the water here. Um, uh, Osmosis, who is coming along with you, uh, is quick to point that out. Uh, and he... He tells you that it's really good to take vitamin D for the power of osmosis for your skin. Yeah. yeah uh huh. Mm -hmm. um, he gives you. You, you... Sir, <laughs> you, sir, are a scholar. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, keep that. going. Please just keep Greatest giving us more tips. He, 
he gives you every last tip in his possession. <laughs> um, and uh, whether you want it on, tips. whether you want it or not, uh, <laughs> Ozzy Osmosis, he hands them out. Um, and uh, yeah, you. Um, by the time you reach the dome, it's kind of like half submerged in sand. It's like been kind of dug out by a bunch of laborers and workers. Uh, there are three domes here, but the the main dome, uh, which you've been kind of told to go into, which they went into, is kind of off just to the east. Uh, it's a, a large structure, um, you know, size of, like, uh, I don't know, it's, it'd probably be even huger, but the, the stuff which you could actually see rises out like, uh, like the, the first half of a skyscraper, I suppose. It's a pretty huge little structure that you have here. Uh, it has a tunnel leading inside of it, uh, which is like 20 by 20, uh, and leads down into a dark chute, uh, just straight ahead of you. Just one tunnel. Um, and you see that there are kind of pressure plates on here, and there are arrows which have fallen to the floor. Uh, although the, uh, the arrows look like they've, they've already been fired, um, and the pressure plates have already been kind of activated. Um, mm. so that's what you guys see before you. Volunteer for leading the party? Not this one. Hey man, I do range shit. I stay towards back. <sighs> wow. What are you big no, warrior types? You all can go up front. I am... I'm a warrior, but no warrior scholar. I think our expert of osmosis should go first. You know what? I actually think that's the best idea. I think, uh, oh, I think man. about osmosis could really help me. You actually fun. think I could do this? Yeah, Guys. totally, bro. Totally. Guys, I am, like, so, like, in awe. Of your guys is like love for me. I yeah, seriously, bro. We should uh, bro. When, when all of this is over, bro. Let's get a campfire and let's get some marshmallows and let's just put them on our bodies and take them in fire osmosis. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's go in. Uh, and he uh, he rushes into the uh, the, the tunnel. Um, but it looks, it would appear as though the, um, the traps have already been set off and the arrows have been used up, uh, and so he actually quite safely makes it to the end of the tunnel. He's like, uh, 30 feet down, he calls back and he's like, guys, there's like a dark chute, I see, like, darkness, mostly, and some, like, sarcophagi, and mostly darkness, though. Okay, well, let's tread a little bit more lightly from this point on. Just a thought. Got it. So, do you think he realizes that the reason he's first is because we think he's expendable? Shh, don't say it too loud. He might hear you. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Go ahead, Ozzy. We got gotcha. you. Okay, man, you want me to, like, go down? Well, I'm... I don't want to take all your guys' glory, bro. This is, Dude, like, your gig. Coming, just hold on, hold your horses there, buddy. Yeah, yeah, we're coming back. Fine, right. fine. I don't have any horses. Uh, so okay, I'll wait for you guys then. I guess you did great, though, buddy. You yeah, did. you're doing fantastic. Great. Thanks, man. I really appreciate the positivity. Yeah, no, so, don't tell him I can see 120 feet in dark. Don't <laughs> tell him. <laughs> so, so you guys are you gonna 60 feet? It's okay. <laughs> Are you gonna follow him down? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to keep him at, at the front, though. I don't know yeah. if is everybody else okay with that keeping Ozzy up front because he's obviously the expert here. Right. Yeah. Expert. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> expert. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that. All right. Well, if you say so. Um. So I'm <laughs> gonna bring. Uh, you guys down to, to this room here should have vision. In fact, one thing that you guys can do is uh, give yourselves tokens uh, on your character seats and drag them in. You can drag them into the map uh, in roll 20, but you don't need them just now, but that will save me a minute or two. Um, so, um, yeah, you uh, you look down to this, this shaft, uh, which is 20 by 20, uh, leads into darkness. Those are dark vision, can see down all the way. It's got these kind of sarcophagi on the sides um, for easy kind of handholds. And down the bottom, those of dark vision can see that there's some kind of like green jelly on the floor. That's not good. Let's not step in that, but not us. He can step in if he wants to, but I'm not gonna step in it. That's probably a bad idea. 
Do you want me to, like, go down, guys? I can't see anything down the bottom, so it's probably safe, right? Oh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. Totally. Uh, me, well, hold on, hold on. All right. Ozzy, let's stick together. Sorry, guys. It just, you know, let's keep him around a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So, um... This, let's have uh, Osmosis Jones being... <laughs> I'll find a token for him. He can be the orc, even though he is human. Um, so this will be... This will be Ozzy for now. Um, so uh, he starts kind of uh, going down. You guys can quite, you know, quite quickly and quite safely head down uh, the, the tunnel shaft, uh, down to 60 feet, probably using a rope of some kind as well uh, to, to keep yourselves... Uh, safe, um, and uh, as you, you do so, I drag you over here, uh, you come down into this area here where there is uh, a gelatinous cube which has been uh, shattered into, well, many, many different pieces of ooze. It's been killed, uh, and it's kind of laying out in jelly here uh, on the floor. Uh, the portcullis here, in fact, lies open. There are two pitfall traps which lead down into 60 feet holes down there. And then down the, uh, down the end of the tunnel, there's uh, a passage leading to the north and a passage leading to the south. And the portcullis is, in fact, open. The winch looks like it's been fully kind of jimmied. So um, you find your, your, yourself down here. And Osmosis is like, whoa, this is cool, bro. <laughs> Oh, wow. Osmosis, you were just so fu- filled with wisdom, I can't help but giggle to myself. It's pretty, like, you know, it's like jello. I wonder, I mean, this stuff is pretty acidic, but, um, uh, I could try an osmosis it, you know? <laughs> I mean, you could, but let's hold off on that. Let's keep, uh, Looking around a little bit. Anything you guys want to check out? There is nothing around here that I find overly interesting. It looks like it's pretty much been picked clean by those folks who came in front of us, guys. You might have a point, yes. I mean, maybe they were pretty cool. Pretty cool guys. So... I mean, I'll leave it to you guys to look around. I'll just, like, chill. Let you do your thing, you know? <laughs> and he, he leaves you. Uh, he, sits, he sits in the corner and attempts to science uh, the gelatinous cube. You, uh, you, have, you have fun with that, buddy. I don't really... I, I don't want to watch what you are doing with that gel. Out. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, does, what are you? What? Oh, Lord! What, what, what is, I, no, I, I make my way down the hall because I don't, <laughs> I don't need to see that kind of stuff. I mean, you, you can live your life however you want, buddy. But yeah, yeah so I'm gonna go and join you. Yeah. Don't yeah. king shame me, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so hey, hold on. You know what? If you guys are going ahead, I'll come with you guys. Sorry, Ozzy. No problem, bro. I understand. You do, you, bro. You're uh, done with whatever you're doing. You can uh, have, you can catch up with us, uh, buddy. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Um, so, so you guys come to this poor color, which is open. Um, so, uh, it's free for you to, to guys to, to walk through. I'll bring it up to the side like so. Um, nice. Oh, yeah. That's a nice path. Yeah, it's a nice map. All these maps come with uh, domes as well, so when you when you get it, if you back it on Kickstarter, you get all these maps and all the music which is being played as well, aside from the sexy jazz music, which unfortunately isn't included, which I think is a crying <laughs> shame, but um, hopefully that can be changed. Um, so, um, so you guys uh, go through this portcullis here, and um, you, uh, you start to, in fact, roll me a perception check. <laughs> it's time to science the shit out of this. <laughs> Perception. Perception. I ain't, I ain't too good at that. Ah. Uh, sorry, I'm getting well, used well, to well. using this uh, program. I am seeing everything there is. <laughs> no sexy jazz, no backing is that simple. 
I mean, I understand the death. I understand. Uh, so, uh, we're gonna... demands. <laughs> yeah, we have needs, goddammit. Um, so, uh, I gotta say, Saraf, um, yeah, um... I, I actually, Tarasil, someone edited my character sheet for while I was in the character sheet. Oh, really? Oh, so that's yeah. you. So you are Saraf? That's me. Yeah, cool. that's, that's my character sheet. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out everything here. I apologize, guys. <laughs> so, okay, um... It just looked really nice. Yeah, <laughs> just... I had some really good rules. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you nailed it, man. So, um, you uh, you look through, uh, you listen out, really, and you're, you're looking for any traps, I'm sure, uh, and you hear this kind of coming from the, the southern passage. What is that sound? That would be Ozzy's chicken. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Ozzy. He, he has a source of eggs. Hey, man, did someone say something? No, no one. No. no. Did I hear like no. a clucking or something? I. No, it's uh the sand. It's uh it needs um, it needs protein. If he look, he looks down at the sand with like a like a, a look of like oh god this poor sand, uh and he's like oh god really do you think yeah. I do you think I could help him somehow yeah. You know what? If you could actually help, like from where we walked in, and then like right. every grain of sand, just every grain, man. Wow. Yeah. This every grain because it's this it's, is like your calling, right? It's I mean, worse than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just think of it as like reps. You've got like you know for your for your physique, bro. You I just doing lots and lots of reps. I got this, bro. Like, Listen. Cut out, dude. Ready for competition. My body is like basically covered in eggs anyway, so my osmosis can transform into a sand's osmosis, right? Uh, and then he starts rolling around in sand. <laughs> God, I see we need to attend. Move on. Yes. Yeah. He seems pretty busy. <laughs> let's go. Hey, I whisper. Hey, man. Let's go find that chicken. Why do we have to find the chicken? We were supposed to find artifacts and stuff. Dude, the first part of the quest, man. <sighs> Alright, fine. Let's go grab the chicken. Never Stop. belittle a side quest. <laughs> I am not carrying the chicken. Just so we all know, I will not carry it. Don't look at me. What do you see up there, buddy? Uh, let me see. Hold on. I heard it coming from this direction. You don't see it. Uh, but you, you do see this kind of tunnel down, uh, just juts off to the left as you're looking down it. Can I, um, can I roll stealth? Because if I'm sneaking up on a chicken, I'd like to be able to catch it in one move and not have yeah, to chase Yeah, yeah, one, chicken. one fell swoop. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> one foul swoop. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> uh. Sorry, I have to play with Josh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, okay, you start kind of sneaking in. Uh, you can you can come up to, but you know, about here. You see these doors, which uh, one of which is just kind of slightly ajar, but it's dark in the room beyond, so you don't really see too much. Okay. One fell coop. God damn, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> just got here and is the worst. <laughs> All right, I'm about to go in. Any objections? I got your back, buddy. I'll be there in a minute, guys. Oh, you just keep rolling around, buddy. I'm Roll almost done. Get that uh, new armor plate and you're doing on yourself. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> <My God. laughs> All right, I'm gonna he's, he's slowly. To yeah, I'm gonna slowly open the door and uh, see what's inside. All right, so um, you you slowly open the door, uh, and inside you see terrible things. Uh, I might have some some flavor text. I think I do. Um, so, um, <laughs> sorry, I've got other people around here. No worries, no worries. So um, you can just mute yourself whilst folks are talking. Cause oh, got it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. Um, all right, so the room before you is a rectangle extending back to a throne at the far east. You can make out a shrouded figure sitting on the throne, bony arms and legs 
visible from your vantage point. Within the room are a number of pillars sym symmetrically placed. In the center, a large black steel brazier, standing some three feet high and roughly two feet across, is bolted to the sandstone floor. Well, this looks fun. Hey, Stick, you want to come take a look at this? Uh, I would probably stay with him for now. Maybe, maybe have a look at the distance. Standing also on the throne is a chicken, which looks like it's been zombified. <laughs> what is that? That I'm is just gonna no. let you guys take point. Is here. that like a plug is that zombie chicken? Yeah, I think I saw his eye hanging out. I really don't want anything to do with that thing. I can see it right here. You can go ahead and No. No. <laughs> why why is why is it there's something dripping from it? No, no. Yeah, I Okay. Your call, but your call, buddy. What what what's what's the call on this? Are we uh, gonna score ourselves some uh, some chicken or uh, for this uh, for for some loot or for some gold or are we gonna leave this uh, this thing uh, thing alone? Uh, let's at least check it for chicken. How hard can it be? Right? Uh, hard boiled. <laughs> Good God, man. <laughs> <laughs> Could I um, do a kind of like a once over of the room for traps? Yeah, roll me a perception check to do that. To do that. To do that. To do that. So, um, the 21 is pretty good. Uh, let's see. Are there any traps? Surely not. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, big room. you spot uh, here uh, and this square here, there appear to be some spears, uh, which are kind of uh, in the ceiling currently, but look like they will jab down at you. Uh, and on the uh, the sides of the room do not look to be safe either. So like all the walls? Basically the walls don't need to be very safe, yeah. You're not sure if all of them are like that, or if that's just a few of them that you spotted, but that's just a brief kind of look that you get on the place. Okay. I will uh, point out the two um, sort of parts of the floor where the spears could jut out um, from above and just start maneuvering around them while trying to stay away from the walls. Nice. I'm following in your footsteps, buddy. Don't lead us, don't lead us wrong. Yeah, I think yeah. we'll stay here for now. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. We'll do the work. It's cool. Yeah. And Terrazas just pushes through the door and follows. So as... Alright, as... I'm going to move you back oh, here. Sure. Just sure. one second. As... as something happens... <laughs> 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 uh, well, uh, first of all, a few things happen. Uh, first of all, the uh, room turns black with uh, darkness, as from a darkness spell, which means that um, even those with uh, dark vision currently have their vision uh, constructed, uh, well, what's the word? I'm obstructed. For? Obstructed, there we go, thank you. It's been a long no day. Um, and um, as uh, that happens, two uh, well, first of all, saws come down from the building towards uh, this guy here, which is... Whom? Tarasas. Okay, cool. Um, so, um, I'm going to move buff. I'm going to move past the door. I'll open up the door for you there, buddy. Um, so, I need 20 plus 7. It's an attack roll for 24 versus your armor yeah. class. Nice. Uh, you take a little, little bit of damage here. Um, you take 7 damage. Um, from that, as well as Seraph, a saw blade comes down for a 23 versus your armor class. That will hit. <laughs> for 8 damage. Damn. Okay. Rooks fall, everyone dies. These saw blades just kind of rah, come down just as it turns black. You can't see anything. Uh, all you know is that there was this kind of uh, brazier here which was not lit, uh, and there was the chicken and the skeleton dude uh, on here. 
So, um, what? Yeah, what are you guys doing? Um, uh, I guess it's time. It's actually time to roll this because technically we are in a combat here. Okay. Uh, with traps and shit going on, it's probably should is. Might be a short adventure. Have any luck, my friend? <laughs> Just because I'm just because I'm feeling under the weather doesn't mean I can't kill a party. <laughs> <laughs> so we got stick, we got Saraf, we got Zonton. Zonton, his name makes me think of wontons, uh, which makes me hungry. <laughs> mm, um, tasty. Yeah, delicious. Uh, and then we have Tara. Okay, cool. Um, so this thing is going on. Okay, so uh, Saraf, what did you roll? I got a fourteen. 14, good job. Uh, Stick, what did you roll? I uh, got an 11. 11, not bad. Uh, Zonton, what about you? 9. 9, uh, and then Tara? 3. Well, you guys w went in descending order. Great job. So, um, the turn order for this combat is uh, me, followed by Saraf, Stick, Zonton, and Tara. So... Something comes out from the darkness, <laughs> uh, and uh, it is going to attempt to do a thing towards our good friend Saraf here. So, um, and jumps into to this uh, place here. This strange um, dark figure is all you can really make out in the blackness. Something swoops in. Can you make me a charisma save, please? Charisma save. Is this uh, versus charm or? Uh, this is. Let's see. Um, it is a possession, so it's not technically a charm, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, eighteen. Uh, and eighteen is a save, so uh, that is its turn. Floats in towards okay. you. Attempts to do a weird thing with you, kind of like uh, with its mouth and <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> It just hands, <laughs> uh, and then it's Seraph's turn. Okay, um, I'm going to attack him with my greatsword. Uh, so let me see. Uh, is this disadvantage? Uh, that, yes, you are. Yeah. Okay. So pretty much do... most of the checks that you're going to be making here are going to be with disadvantage, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Eleven. Ah. Uh, um. Alas, alas, no. Um, okay. Well, actually, let me double check. But I'm. Alas, are we knew him well. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm just saying, it'd be really awesome if he got hit. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, guys. Uh, so he's, uh, yeah, not quite. So. Um, okay. Anything else you want? Can, to uh, can I use my bonus action for second wind, uh, so I can heal up some HP? Yes, you can. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, Good night, anyways. Thanks for hanging out, my friend. See you soon, buddy. <laughs> Alright, then. Uh, so you can go ahead and heal up that Stick's turn. Well, Stick, since, what up? Uh, I, I'm still standing outside the room, uh, kind of by accident, but we'll say it was on purpose. Sure. Uh, so Ta a tactical this is filled with darkness? Yeah, filled with darkness. You can't see anything, really. Uh, so I'm going to take a shot in the dark. Uh, if I can uh, firebolt the, that where that brazier was. That there brazier. <laughs> Alright, so it will be a disadvantage, but you can do it. That would be a 13th disadvantage. Uh, 13. Let's see. I think this thing genuinely has an AC. Um, let us check. Um, yeah, 13 is a hit. For... Four nine fire damage. <laughs> nine fire damage. Okay. <laughs> if I to uh, to mic for the host, this thing has taken uh, let's have a, uh, um, nine damage. All right. More importantly, does it catch on fire? Does uh, it light up the room or anything? Let us see. Um, Sure, it begins to light a few sparks. You can see, um, we'll, we'll give, we'll cast it some light around. Um, so what we're gonna do is actually use the lighting stuff in this. So we're gonna cast like a, so like a ten by ten, not very, not very large at this point. It gives you the guys that. Uh, I'm gonna edit the lighting settings because you got like three hundred by three hundred at this point. So um, give that to you, and give you guys some 
some sight as well. So that is uh, Stick's turn. Anything else you want to do, Stick? Uh, yeah, um, and just to let you know, Will, I actually uh, can see everything. Uh, I don't have dynamic lighting happening with my character, so I'm seeing all, all the okay, stuff. Okay, let me, I might, I might not have switched here, on. Uh, maybe I didn't switch it on? I'll do that in a second. It doesn't really matter any. Um, okay, uh, just one, in case you in case you were wanting to do it. I also still can't get into the room. <laughs> oh, you still can't? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. I think the lower door is still closed. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's probably the token is probably just in your way there. All right. Yeah. Um, do you want to move or anything? Uh, well, seeing, uh, well, actually, I guess I, I, I hear in that they aren't doing too well. I'm going to sort of stand right there by the front door and uh, hopefully uh, get to uh, to see more of what, what's happening. All right, Assess then. Assess the situation, if you will. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so, um, Zanton, it's your turn, then. Um, I'm sort of standing right in front of the, uh, the lower door that's closed at the moment. Yes. Mm. I'm going to see if I can't uh, shed some lights on this situation. I can some uh, dancing lights. Mm. Good idea. Uh, and I'm going to send it... So I don't know what the uh, so the uh, the source of light is ten feet. Okay. If I'm reading this correctly, I'm gonna send it if I can to the uh, to behind sort of behind sort of semi jangling above the uh, the target that's attacking us. See if there's anything else coming for us. Okay, cool. So you send out the light. You don't see anything else, which like any other creatures. It seems like there's just one creature here. Um, which is uh, which is in the area, other than this chicken, of course, and the and the skeleton. But the skeleton looks like it is dead, then gone. So yeah, uh, anything else you want to do? Um, maybe. I think I'm going to see. Now, can I find out in some somehow, some way, what's causing this darkness? I mean, I'm assuming I know it is a spell. Uh, sure. Um, I mean, it's it's a spell which has been cast. Most likely, it is the creature which has cast it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do then. No, no, I'm I think I'm good. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I don't think most folks have dispel stuff at level one. Um. All right. So it's Tara's turn. <laughs> so um, with the light from the brazier in the middle of the room. Can I see something, or is everything still black for me? Uh, it is darkness. Okay, so I have no clue what's going You're on. You're kind of stumbling around in the dark at this point. You hear some sounds, but... Huh. I guess, um... Since I can't see anything right now... Uh, let's see. I'm going to trace back my steps if I can. Okay. And uh, then I'm going to use my lay on hands on myself because I'm not in a too great shape right now. Okay. Um, so, anything else or any other time? Uh, I don't think I can do anything else to take my action, so. Alright, cool. Um, am I trying to say module of death and tense? Yeah, I am today. Usually I don't. Uh, today's a little bit. A little something special. Uh, so it's top around two. This thing's gonna attempt to recharge its shit uh, if you can on d6. He does not. Uh, so this creature got a bunch of um, pretty pretty sick abilities. So um, uh, it's going to. Okay, um, Sarif, can you make me a wisdom saving throw, please? Sure. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta type everything in here because I didn't quite get everything all entered in. So, yeah. Twenty-one. Uh, that is That's a save. 20. That is a. Oh no! Uh, you didn't roll. Ah, uh, you rolled twenty plus one. That is true. You need to roll one d twenty oh. plus one. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ah, nice try, nice try. <laughs> dang it! I thought my my ploy uh, would work. <laughs> <laughs> Four. <laughs> well, that's the punish. That's the punish right there. 
Um, so you do not succeed, uh, and in fact, you are sent running. Um, it forces the creature to immediately move its speed directly away from the shade, heedless of dangers oh, in its path. The creature remains frightened of the shade until the end of its next turn. So, okay. yeah, okay. okay. Um, so, um, so I just need to run away then? Basically, you run away, yeah. Uh, which is out the door, essentially. Okay. And each square is five feet, yes? Yes. Okay, cool. And... Uh, hold on. I can't get out the door. Oh, okay. Let's just move these doors out of the way so you can move out. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm on the same square as somebody else. I'm just going to do this. There you go. I can. Bring you in. There you go. There we go. Cool. Um, you perfect. Did it. You, we did it, Reddit. So uh, you just run away from uh, this creature on his turn, uh, and then it becomes invisible, and you guys have no idea where this thing is. Uh, and it is Saraf's turn. You're still frightened, but save ends. So same roll again to save it, I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of huddle in the corner and... Um... <laughs> try to kind of get myself back together. Uh, just for a flavor, I am clutching my sword for a dear life. <laughs> All right, then. So um, you are feeling somewhat terrified of this shadeless pie. 15, is that a save? Let's see. Uh, 15, nope, DC 16. Um, <laughs> so sorry. Um, no, that's cool. All right, so it's Stick's turn. Stick, you're in a room full of darkness. There's probably a few traps or two around here. There's a brazier. You've started to do some damage to it. What's the plan? Your friends just run away screaming like, ah! Hey, Osmosis, get your ass down here. We need your help. Okay, bro. I'll roll initiative. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Osmosis will roll initiative. So he's on a 14. Uh, he'll go after Saraf next turn. So he's making his way in. Uh, so Stick, what else are you up to? Well, this was not a good. This this is not looking good for none of us. Uh, so it's I'm surrounded by magical darkness, huh? Uh, it's yes. It would seem that way. My dark vision ain't working. Dark vision? Not uh -uh. Working? Nope. Well, damn it. Uh, well, I did see some sparks pop up from that brazier. You know, you did. most of the here fancy, fancy trap type things from those guys have some kind of trigger to turn them off. I am going to put two and two together. I think I'm going to try to shoot that, that bear uh, brazier again. All right, then. Give that uh, roll. Firebolt. Firebolt. It is at disadvantage, so it's a 12. Uh, a 12, yeah. Still a hit, so do a lot of damage to it. So uh, it's, not... it's not, it's the two, it's not the nine. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, it's because, it, yeah, it really rolled it as though it was crit. Yeah, cool. So it, you kind of, it fizzles out a little bit, but you do a, you do a, a tad, a tad of damage to the, the brazier. Um, Zonton, it's your turn. Now, um, I'll begin here, I run the brazier, can we see? So that again, how much of it? Uh, how much around? around it. Um, yeah, like uh, this kind of like ten feet around it, I suppose. Um, so you can see some of the pillars. You don't see the creature, wherever it may be. Mm -hmm. Or the chicken. Worryingly. <laughs> That's not good. Not at all. Um, let's try. I'm trying to place a magic illusion. Somewhere close to where the uh, the creature vanished. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gonna, uh, it's gonna be a larger rat, larger round lat. Ooh. Scurrying about. See if it gets its attention. Okay. Um. So. Yeah. Let's let's roll this things like. Wisdom, real quick. See if it can like it sees through your ploy. I don't know. Eight, it doesn't. Um, so let's find a rat token uh, and let's see. Um, let's bring 
this little shade thing in here. So it kind of launches out and just immediately kills your rat. Uh, but it's not a real rat. So uh, luckily no rats were harmed in the making of this production. Um, but if there were real rats, they would have been killed. So, um... Just bring, I can't bring in my rats. Why won't you bring in my rats? God damn it, Roll20. I your rats. You do? Okay. They just haven't showed up for me. Well, there's a bunch of rats. They're all dead. Um... <laughs> As the stage is kind of, and then the illusions just burst. You know where it is, though. It's revealed itself. Hey, that was real smart, right there, buddy. Hmm. Now we know where it is. And now you're, we one can kill them, it. you're one of them thinking boys, aren't you? I am. Oh God! Is it gone yet? Is it gone yet? Is it dead yet? <laughs> oh no 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 no! It is quite alive, and it will probably oh. kill us. If we kill it. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are my rats. Uh, so I believe that was Zonton's turn, which takes it to, uh, Tara's turn. So, uh, Tara was quite unsure what to do until the little ploy with the, uh, illusion and uh, your, uh, rat was played, so Yuri is back and hurts a javelin where the creature was, where All he right. hurt it last. Yeah, cool. A 14. Uh, 14, yes, um, that's a hit. Okay. <laughs> you won't learn thinking, boys. <laughs> so, six damage. Six damage, alright, you deal six to it. Okay, and after that, he's probably going to take another step back to just get out of the darkness. So he retreats back into the, uh, the hallway. If okay. I can move him there. Uh, which I can't. So for some reason, there's like an invisible barrier on that little hallway. I don't know. Yeah. Weird. Um. Oh, just popular. Okay. All right. Cool. Um. So it's round three. This thing is going to take its turn after it's murdered this this one rat here. Um. It is going to first of all roll a d6. Uh. Okay. Um. And it's going to. Turn to our good friend Stick here, and Stick, can you roll me a charisma saving throw, please? Ah, oh, hell. No, you didn't. <laughs> hey, actually, I'm pretty good at that. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I am a lockable guy, I tell That's you. true, yeah. Yeah, Stick is pretty awesome. I am 16 saving throw. All right, that is dead on. Um, so, you save. Yeehaw! You don't scare me. <laughs> Um, all right then, so that's its turn. Sarah, your turn here, my friend. Um, I'm going to, uh, just try to get myself calmed down, I guess. It's not really like I can, uh, approach an attack, so, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the, uh, wisdom saving throw again. Nice. So give me that roll. Yeah. 16! Uh, 16 is a save, so you get your yes. turn back. So what do you want to do? Um, how how is it looking? Is it still kind of like in one piece, or is it has it really been damaged much? Not at all. Not at all. All right, I'm gonna take a second and use my uh, my cantrip since I am a high elf for true strike, um, and I'm gonna focus on that thing so that next turn I can get advantage. Okay, cool. Sweet. Yeah, basically, just sort of shake off the fear. Look in the is the room is still in darkness, right? Yeah, the room is is pitch okay. black. Just look into the darkness and brandish my sword, ready to run in. All right then. Um, so that takes it to Osmosis. Osmosis bringing it in strong, um, and he goes, "Don't worry, bros, I got this." And he runs into the room, triggering first a spear trap. Oh no. For a 19. Secondly, the saw blade comes down upon him. Uh, he takes a total of 15 damage and goes down. <laughs> Damn, bro. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, we probably should have told him about that. I don't got this. Uh, and it's, it's Stick's turn. <laughs> it's Osmosis uh, of PewDiePie clone. <laughs> since the... Uh... Since the specter is within ten feet of the brazier, uh, or is he? 
Can I can I see him? Uh, it, it, you can't see it, yeah. So you don't scare me, and I'm about to light you up, buddy. Fireball. <laughs> thirteen is thirteen hit. Uh, thirteen is a hit. Woohoo! Yeehaw! Fire damage. Yeehaw! Come on, light her up. Oh, you know what? Well, one thing we have not been doing. Uh, actually, it's at your discretion. I am a wild magic uh, sorcerer. Ah, you yes. Can make roll a d20 whenever you want. Uh, whenever I cast a spell to see if I get a wild magic surge. Oh, you're right. So, it's, uh... so what did you roll first of all? I think I haven't played wild magic in a little while, actually. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I rolled a 13 and then six fire damage on the thing. All right. Let, let's let's have a wild let's have a wild magic going on. Let's do it. So if I hit a one. Uh, I get a wild magic, uh, wild magic surge. I actually owe you like three more if you want me to roll them. Uh, yeah, go on. Let's see if we can get it. <laughs> let's see if we can. Okay. Thanks, man. Roll <laughs> no worries, dude. Anytime, man. I mean, you offered. It's rude to decline, right? Um, yeah. so um, unfortunately, yeah, it's, it's your call on uh, this good old boy. If he's good enough to, uh, if it's just a one or something higher that that initiates. Yeah. Oops, okay. Sorry. Ignore that. <laughs> all right, we use that as a. All right, cool. So that is stick. Anything else you want to do, stick? You start burning this thing up. Uh, that is about all I can do. All right, Ozzy has sprung Will's trap card. How you played right into my trap card? It's Zonton's turn. Now um, I have a question. The um, the light that I cast. Is it still there? Uh, yeah. Um, can I move it? Sure. I'm gonna move it in front of the creature. Okay. Yeah, you you can start seeing this thing then. Hmm. Let's try. Let's try magic missile. Ah, nice. Let's <laughs> see. And I was supposed to do it, but nope, that didn't do it. Oh. Well, it's an automatic hit, so you just have to roll 3d4 plus yeah. 3 to determine the damage you did. Rolling is happening. <laughs> Maths is happening, I feel. I feel yeah. math. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> there we go. All right. Woo! Not not bad at all. So um, yeah, that that works for me. Okay, magic missile ain't so ain't so bad. Um, so you fire out these kind of missiles pew, 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 towards a creature, um, taking it to Tara's turn. Okay. Um, since uh, Osmosis was so nice to uh, to clear the traps in front of the creature, um, he attacks the darkness. He does. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if I could move through the invisible wall, I would move forward with oh, yes. uh, my great sword and uh, that basically I i don't care about Osmosis Jones right now, I see evil to slay. So I'm just stepping on his body and swing my great sword at the... At the uh, Alright, so first of all do you activate the spear trap for a 14 and then the saw trap for a 15 versus your armor class. Don't, don't penetrate my... Chain. Excellent. That is good news. Yeah. <laughs> that could have been painful. No, I swing my great sword. Something, something makes me think that Karakti might have forgotten about the traps there. <laughs> well, I, I, I hoped that Osmosis... Uh, yeah, uh, these... these... These things reset, unfortunately. Uh, okay. So a 17 against this creature is a hit. Okay, let's see damage. Nine. See ya. And he Nine. Snarls at the creature. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Nine. All right. Nine. Excellent. Um. So, that takes it to round four, and the shade gets to do his thing. So, he is going to first off roll a d6 as Pearly use. Uh, and he's going to ask, um, not Ozzy, because Ozzy's name is <laughs> for some reason. Let's, let's move off there. Um, he's going to ask uh, Karaktu, uh, Tara, to roll him a charisma save. 
Hacker is not safe. He's just that kind of guy, you know. Um, Roll a charisma. Fifteen. Uh oh, buddy. Uh, shot, I guess. Yeah, a fifteen is not enough. Um, so just a fail. So you are possessed. <laughs> um, which means that uh, the shade actually disappears from the map. Uh, the shade just goes kind of <laughs> into Tara. Um, and suddenly, uh, Tara starts to run through all of the traps in the room. Oh, God damn it. Oh, nice. and, what what uh, are you doing? Are you crazy, boy? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Um, so, uh, the, the shade just possesses you and starts to 15, a 17, a 13, a 14, a 26, and oh. one more, and then a 10. So, I think two. Okay. Yeah, two, the, the 17 and the 26. Okay, that's, yeah, okay. So you're going to take a total of 15 damage as you run through these traps. Down. Yeah. All right, Ripperoonie, um, which is like one of the, the and then the, the shade appears. Yeah. Uh, one of like, the, the coolest features about this creature is that it just, like, the room is designed really well, so it like possesses you and then like it runs you through all the traps and fucks you. <laughs> um, yeah. I love it. So, um, obviously I do. So it's Sarah's turn. All right. So with Ozzy on that trap, is it consistently like activated? Uh, it's, um, basically if you take pressure off and then reapply pressure, it would reactivate. Okay. So with him being on there, it's still sort of like stuck in its activated position. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm going to carefully out the door. Doors are not letting me through. Oh, yeah. uh, that's confusing. The invisible, yeah. wall. the invisible wall there isn't letting you through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got uh, you through. It's your uh, dynamic yeah. lighting setting. It could Duh. be, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? And I'm going to roll an attack on the shadow. Does the true strike uh, still give me advantage on him? Uh, sure. All right, cool. Let's say yes. Boom. Let me do this real quick. Okay, that's cool. A, that's a crit. That is a crit. Uh, that is. Nice. Again. Uh, oh, it's just a. Is it just a? D, is it just a twenty plus one again? Yeah, if you did just a twenty plus one again. <laughs> did I, son of a. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're like I keep doing so well. I did it. You're tripping all the time, boy. All the time. Look, I did all of the things. Did I do them good? Oh, uh, a seven. A seventeen is still a hit. Okay. Not a critical hit, but yeah. nonetheless a hit. Yeah. What about that one? Does that one hit? <laughs> uh, hit. That, that, that doesn't hit so well. Um, okay. But the 17 hits. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's just so good, Seraph. <laughs> I'll quote him. You know I will. <laughs> Until next round, you're going to be possessed and do the little crap run, too. Yep. <laughs> Eight damage. Eight damage. All right, all right, all right. Um, so, not bad, not bad. Um, that is. Oh, unless you got anything else you want to do. Uh, that's all I got. All right then. Then it's Osmosis Jones's turn, and thank you to Troll Bridged for following. Welcome to the adventure, my friend. Your gentleman and a scholar. I want to remind you folks, if you haven't followed, hit that yeah. follow button and join us. We'll get some viewer decisions going pretty quickly here when we hit those uh, things above. And then uh, here is the tweet as well. I believe we're still only like two uh, retweets away from that one. Uh, unless we've already hit it, in which case someone shout at me. Um, but that is um, Osmosis' turn. Osmosis is going to roll a death saving throw plus his protein bonus of one for seven. So uh, Ozzy is on... Um, one failed death saving throw at this point, and it's Stick's turn. Uh, well, I'm gonna stick with what I know, cause uh, figure lighting this boy up is probably a good thing, cause he's got all those spooky, old dusty robe type things going on. So uh, let's uh, let's hit him with that fire. Well, my buddy's right there next to him, isn't he? Ooh, uh, I'm actually gonna switch over. I'm gonna do a frost. But just because uh, that mm. might uh, slow him down and give him disadvantage if I hit him. <laughs> All right, um. 24. 
A 24 is a hit. And, and that would be for six cold damage, and he has disadvantage on his next weapon attack. All right, I'm going to... Broken heart for disadvantage. Um, although, in fact, I don't know if he uses weapon attacks. Um, yeah, now I just thought of that. I should have read that before I cast it. But okay, that's all right. cold damage. It's all right. Um, it doesn't seem like it takes any effect on him. That is... Does... Okay, it does... That is... He does that get from... Uh, he is actually resistant to cold. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was worried about that. So, uh, he actually takes a little bit less, so we should actually give him plus three health. Um, so, there's that. Um, <laughs> Zanton, your turn. Now, um, would I be able to find out if the, um, this thing is maybe resistant to similar attacks? Uh, to, to cold attacks, you mean? Uh, you maybe, yeah. Uh, uh, well, normal versus non, non, no, normal attacks are magic attacks, most. Um, thus far, it hasn't seemed to be affected by anything other than the cold, which seemed to have just less, less of an effect. So oh, you can't really... that's not good. Uh, that is really bad. Doesn't seem to be vulnerable to too much, but... Hmm. Well, it worked last time, so let's try Minor Illusion, see if we can keep from killing one more of us. <laughs> let's try, um, let's try a large bat hovering around it, annoying it. Yeah. Okay. Let me see what this does then. So you've got Minor Illusion. Let's find a bat token real quick. It's either bats or rats of you, isn't it? That's, uh... <laughs> It's seems fitting, I mean... It's, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Ruins, caves, I mean, yeah, you'd find them. It's bringing a bat or two. Alright, so there's a minor illusion of bat which will distract it, uh, potentially. We'll see, it'll roll a wisdom save. Um, anything else you want to do? Uh, well, attacking it's pointless. It doesn't do any damage, I don't know. Okay. No, so... no, I'm gonna hang back. All right, so, um, it's uh, Zanton's turn. So, uh, wait, that was Zanton's turn just then. So Tara's turn, sorry. Uh, it's it's so a long day. <laughs> death saving throw, if you'd be so kind, sir. Uh, Guys, we are just one tweet away from 20. Let's make it happen. That's, that's one success. Good job. Okay, cool. Um, that takes it to... The Shade's turn. It's going to attempt to roll a d6, see if it can recharge its possession. You guys do not want this to happen. Uh, and on a 2, it does not, luckily for you. Uh, so it is... Who's it going to try and scare? It's going to try and scare Seraph. So, uh, so um, can you roll a charisma saving throw again, Seraph? This, right, <laughs> you're like, you run away from it, and funny. you're like, ah! And then you run back towards like, and then you run away, go like, ah. Um, so uh, that is a natural one, meaning that you have to run away from this creature uh, by the, the the quickest route possible, um, which is out the door again, meaning one, yep. two, two oh, traps, two traps. Two traps. Okay. Um, so it's twenty-one and a thirteen. Both hit. Oh god damn, really? Um, so you're gonna take. Total of eleven damage. I am down. You are down. All right, there's two party members down, along with Ozzy Osmosis, folks. I think these guys might need to view a decision pretty damn quick here, but it looks like we've got it. So, um, underneath this line here in the chat, folks, it's going pretty rough for these guys. Three of them are down, um, including the, uh, well, if you include Ozzy Osmosis as a uh, NPC. Um, so. They're in a room fighting a shade, uh, filled in darkness and traps everywhere, so if you haven't got an idea in, then go ahead and do it. Sway wants to use his sub-magic surge on Stick, because of the hat. Alright, so Stick, if you're going to be a D10,000. So basically what you guys are going to do... Oh, Lordy, here we go. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Let's, is... Let's ride that magic wild surge! <laughs> woo woo e it! Uh... <laughs> So throw out your ideas in the chat, guys. What could happen next? We'll get it into a straw poll. Most popular decision will happen. Let's see if... Um... 67, 27. Oh, 67, 27. 
Uh, so this is the Wild Magic Table of Madness. So I believe it's... Just scroll down here. Um, 67... 27 reads... Oh boy. Target suffers half damage from metal weapons while it's snowing. <laughs> well, uh, heaven, I think we are in heaven, the that's going to be... How about that? <laughs> How about that? Well, bless, your, bless my little uh, heart. Snow, snow, whatever. Snow uh, vulnerable magic weapon heart. Uh, I guess I'll be careful about that here in the middle of the desert. Hey, you never know. Damn snow. Um, no, you know nothing. Right. You know <laughs> nothing, damn snow. All right, then. So, um, that is uh, Stick's turn, right? Uh, wait, no, it wasn't Stick's turn, I guess. It was just his wild magic search. Whose turn was it then? Um, uh, it was the shade had just gone. So, I think it's Sarah's turn. Uh, so, yeah, because Sarah had to run. Yeah. Oh. So, Sarah, if you've got to roll a death saving throw. Good lord, man. Who's alive? Did Not too many of you guys. Run? Didn't he just go down? Yeah, he needs to roll a death saving throw. He went down from the right he got a nine. He, yeah, he went down on the Shade's turn. Because um, oh. he uh, feared him. So, oh, a nine is a failure. Ooh. Not good. Ooh. Not so good. Um, Don't so, roll a one next time. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm going to try and do that. that. Uh, remember, guys, you can affect the game via donations. You give players Matt Wands, Nat 20s, and World Magic Surges throughout. Um, and if you're a sub, you get a monthly um, World Magic Surge to use as well. And we're like eight subs away from like new donger emotes. So um, I think from here on out, all the emotes are just going to be different shaped dongers, colored dongers, probably that like, you can just spam in different Twitch chats because something about that appeals to me. Uh, so that is Osmosis' turn. Osmosis has got one failed death saving throw, and so he's going to attempt to do his second, which is a success. So he's on one success, one failure, and it's Stick's turn. Uh, where is our other party member located? After, I don't see him on the map. Uh, which one are you looking for here? The not dead one. <laughs> I... As for the, yeah, I don't see myself. Yeah, where are you? Where did where did you? Are you inside someone else's space? Um, do you have a token? I should have. Yeah, I don't know where I am. Um, I don't remember you being on it. Let me find just like a, a wizard or something, and I will bring you in real quick. Um, so let's just put you. I mean, where have where have you been at this point, Zondon? Like at the back, I'm okay, guessing. Yeah. yeah, right there. Yeah. That's yeah. Probably what I'm okay, so we'll we've put been, you. You've been hanging back here shooting spells. Yeah. Animated <laughs> um, So, uh, yeah, Stick, it's your turn. He's he's right next to you. Uh, and, uh, good lord. Um, well, we gotta get this thing dead. So, uh, I know that I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to light this puppy up. What's, what's that good old Texas barbecue? Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, what'd you uh, roll? Natural one mean wild magic for me. Hell yeah, it does. Uh, Am I on the 10k or on the one out of DMG? Uh, let's do the 10k. Of course, we're we're on a kind of role play. Exactly, That's you got cool. <laughs> got to play by the rules. Yeah. Well, by throwing away the the real rules. Um, oh, buddy, I think I just screwed this up in a big way. Get ready for it. Here it comes. <laughs> here it comes. Woo! Do not kill me. Do not oh, kill me. Pretty high. Oh. 9658. Is a big one. Um, it's a whopper. 58 reads, Someone... <laughs> someone nearby... Someone, someone nearby is 3% likely to explode whenever he draws a weapon. Well, okay. okay. Well, I've got osmosis. I've got... <laughs> Everyone's nearby. I mean, mm. let's just say, like, anyone nearby has a 3% chance to explode when mm. they draw a weapon near, when they're near you. Um, it's an uh, occupational hazard. Well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's Dick. Uh, Zanton, it's, it's your turn. Well, I am not going to use my crossbow. That's... I'm certain. <laughs> so 
hell am I supposed to do? Uh, we can't damage it. We can't run from it because we can't see anything. I mean, it's taking damage. It's, it's taking damage. Only, it's only yeah. specific to the uh, to the coal. Yeah, it just doesn't like coal. It, it yeah, it's mm -hmm. good with coals. Okay. okay. So any, anything else does normal damage to it, but if it's cold, then it seems to be fairly resistant to that. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, there's only the two of us left, so it's gonna cover one of us. So an illusion probably won't help too much. I mean, if we die, it's GG anyway. So let's just. <laughs> GG now. Nice. Let's see what you get here. Hopefully, a bit better luck than we've been having recently. Let's see. God damn it! Come on. Flash R. <laughs> Typing intensifies. There we go. There, <laughs> there we, go. we go. Um, okay. It's not dead yet. Um, oh, dear lord. Tara. It Tara, Tara, it's your it's turn. Not dead yet. Bring out your dead. What happens on my death save? Another success. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's good. That is good. Um, I, I definitely mean good. I don't mean bad. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's, I feel like that's good. I'm definitely not lying. So, that, uh, that's Tara's turn. It's the Shade's turn. Of course, it's going to try and recharge uh, its possession, because what else would it do? Uh, on a five, it does, which means that it's <laughs> Shit. going to attempt to possess Stick. stick a roll me a charisma saving throw. Dear Lord, get away from me. It's got to be a good one. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Got yes. on the stick. That is. Uh, God. Guess a stick. Guess a stick. Uh, Goddamn, that is a save. Um, so, he survives. Um, oh, that's a cool story. Shoot me, the, shoot me an Imgur link or something. Um, so, it's Sarif's turn. All right. I'm going to make my uh, death saving throw. Do it. Aha! Aha! Excellent. By which right, I definitely I'm don't totally mean. Totally dead. God damn. Okay. Um. <laughs> so that is. Uh. Let's that. Okay. Um. Takes it to. Who was that turn just then? Um. It was. Uh, Sarif. Sarif. So uh, Osmosis is gonna roll his. Um. And. <laughs> Come on, Ozzy. Live, he's, live, got, I say. he's got this. He's got this. That's a success. Ooh, so, so close. So close to that nat. So I think that's three successes for Ozzy. Or is that two and one? No, it's two. Two and one. Two and mm -hmm. one, yeah. I know it down. Okay, cool. So Stick, it's your turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> Son of a gun. What is wrong with this stuff? And a four for my wild magic. Ah, um, so... No cigar there. Um, <laughs> all right, then. So, uh, that takes it to Zunton's. is a pro. Yeah, he's, a, he's, he's an expert, man. What can I say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Zunton, it's your turn. Well, let's keep another one. See what we can do here. Go, buddy. Let's make the magic happen. <laughs> Come on. Mm, I'll take it. Uh, so, a... 8 damage against the creature. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Um, anything else you want to do? Uh, no. No, I'm going to sit here and see if it takes the bait or not, or it kills us. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it's really one or the other at this point. It, honestly, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's all or nothing. <laughs> you're, you're all in. Um, so, it's Tara's turn. Let's see if I survive. Come on, Tara. It's got this. Come on. Huh? Oh, yes. yes. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, stabilized. Yay. So, it's a D4. Let's see what happens. How many hours are you going to be back? Back Three online. hours, nice. Three hours. Back. Illuminati confirmed. Uh, so you <laughs> are this guy here. We're gonna un -X you. So you are currently not quite ripping, um, which takes it to total round shade again. 
Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. What's that? Roll the d6 to try and recharge? Okay. Um, what's that? No? Oh, goddamn. So, um, he's gonna attempt to frighten the man next to him because he does not want to be attacked. So, uh, charisma save from Tara. Who's still unconscious? Uh, did you not? Oh, yeah. No, you're right. Uh, for some reason, I was under the impression that he's up. Um, <laughs> I unexed him. I think that was my confusion. He's scared in his current he's... unconscious dreams. He's scared in his yeah. nightmares. He sent you he, some nightmares. He runs in his nightmares. <laughs> Bad thoughts. <laughs> uh, so he's going to attempt to scare uh, Stick. So charisma saving throw from Stick. And it is slightly naughty, as you said. Do you... Come on, oh, baby. Oh, damn it. Mm. Uh, Dick has left the building. Good night, y'all. It's been fun. Please get away from this. I'll be back all week. Ah! St stick, is, stick is running away at this point. Uh, but luckily he doesn't trigger any traps, or she does so. Um, it is Sarif's turn. Alright, let's see what happens. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, okay. That's two and one. Oh my god, that is like pornography right there, Starry. It's, it's very good though, it's very well, it's, 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 it's classy pornography, you know? It, it's not, you know, it's, it's softcore, I like it. It's not like money, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, this is a, a production company, this is, um, websites I shouldn't mention. Okay, so, um, 6 on a d20 is a fail, not so hot. Mm. Um, Osmosis, he's got two successes and one failure. So let's see if Ozzy Osmosis, the man, the myth, the legend, can- NAT 20! Oh, Fuck yes, Ozzy. So Ozzy comes back on again, uh, and he is just like, BROOS! Um, and, uh, he's gonna launch himself on a creature from- uh, <laughs> With one hit point. For, <laughs> a, for a nine. <laughs> Yeah. Throw some protein at it. <laughs> Guys, I think I fucked up. Um, uh, and it sticks turn. God damn it, Ozzy. He did so good. Uh, is it my turn? Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. My turn. Uh, I can't do nothing. I can't move toward him unless I save, right? Uh, yes. You need to make a charisma saving throw. And a natural one. <laughs> Do <laughs> so I keep running or am I just scared? You keep running. You're going as fast as you can. You believe that like, the devil is haunting you right now. So um, I'm like heading over here somewhere. Yeah, so we can yeah, pop you over there. So you're just like, ah! See ya. I'm out, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you, no, I'm, I'm done with this shit. I'm yep, out of here, man. You've had oh, enough. Go full. <laughs> Indeed. Um, good night, Sway. Get some sleep, my friend. Um, three percent chance to explode. That's true. Um, we'll go in a second. So, uh, oh, osmosis. Oh, osmosis damn. did draw a weapon, didn't he? So I guess how do you how do you get potential three percent? So I guess like run a D one hundred. D one hundred, and then 100. Yeah. one two or three. One two or three. He's down. He didn't. He's okay. He's okay. He's it's all right. A, calm down, everybody. He's all right. Oz, he's all right. Don't, <laughs> don't ERP rip yet. So that was Sticks' turn. Zunton, it's yours. I'll just give another one. Welcome. And thank you to Havoc for following. Welcome to the bench, my friend, your gentleman. And a scholar. If you guys haven't followed, hit that follow button and join us. Get some more view decisions going. Let's see that Aussie bomb. <laughs> please die. Please die. Please die. So, 10 damage. What's up, Bubbles? Good to see you, my friend. Let's see what we can get going here. Um, so 10 damage on the shade. Not enough, folks. Not enough. Fuck. Uh, it. Um, it's... It is a toughie. It's a toughie. It's, in, it's intended to be. Like, none of these encounters are throughout the, in, the entire weeks. Um, <laughs> like, the five sessions that we've had now, there hasn't been a single combat encounter which has been, like, easy. Each of them have been like, fuck! Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I feel accomplished. I attacked something twice. The fuck category. Oh man, yeah, I'm I'm proud of you. I'm proud of Seraph. Um, so that was um, Ozzy's turn, followed by Stick Zonton. So I think it's Tara's turn. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm unconscious. <laughs> yes, you are, my friend. Um, <laughs> That's about what I can do right now. All right, you... sweet dreams, my friend. <laughs> you sleep, sleep easy, brother. So, um, you you get in a you know a couple of Z's here, um, and try and try and. Uh... I was gonna say, does it count as a short rest? Do you need any healing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Combat and counter level, fuck! Um, <laughs> that's actually challenge rating, fuck! So, um, that is Tara's turn. It's the Shade's turn. You know what's happening. It's a d6. He's gonna try and roll a 4, 5, or 6. What's up, total d4? How's it going, my friend? Uh, he rolls a 1, doesn't recharge, yeah. so he's gonna try and frighten Ozzy. <laughs> Oh, no. Ozzy's going to roll a charisma save, and Ozzy, unfortunately, has a minus three to his charisma. He rolled a nat one! Oh, he rolled a nat oh, one! Ozzy, we need you well. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. Ozzy has a minus three to his charisma. <laughs> Bro. Believe it or not, bro. We are talking about Ozzy Osmosis. Right? <laughs> it should be plus 17, but it's in the book as minus yeah. 3. Or... Um, oh, yeah. God damn it. So, he will trigger that trap on the way out for an 18, which hits him. It doesn't, e it doesn't even matter. He gets this far. He starts running. He's like, no, bro. Uh, and then Ozzy comes. A saw lands on his head. Um, and he's down once again. Hey, bro, you, have you good? Oh, no, no, he said again. Not, no, not, no, man. not so good, not so hot, Ozzy. Oh, bro, Ooh, really? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, man. Uh, Night Cousin Demon, have a good one, my friend. Thanks for stopping by. Um, so that takes it to Stick's turn. Uh, I gotta see if I'm still running. Come yes. on, baby. 11. I'm Damn still it. running. Uh, and eleven, you are you are out of there. I so. hope you all have fun back there because I am out. One, two, three, four, five, six. See ya. You wouldn't want to be ya. Later. You, you actually notice like the sand around here looks like it's kind of sticky with egg. <laughs> now, what in the hell happened here? Oz, Ozzy did his job. <laughs> oh God, that Mr. Oz, oh, good lord. It better just be egg. I'm just. I'm just saying. I hope it's just egg. Oh, it's slippery. Oh, damn it. <laughs> That's not going to come out of my shoes. Um, <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to see about this straw poll here. It has oh, well, been tied, but it's just been broken on a fifth vote uh, for Taro's, Taro's God rejuvenates them, bringing them back to 1 HP. Lows that are downed. Good job. So, um, Stick's, Stick's running away, but, uh, so Ozzy's gonna come back on one. Sarah, if you're gonna pop back on one as well as Tara. So each of you guys, uh, unripped, uh, and back on one HP. Thanks to you guys in the chat. Man, it was looking rough there for a bit. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Thank you. So it is actually Zunton's turn, however. Oh, skin on the go. Whistling him yeah, down. Props to Zontan. Yeah. <laughs> really pecking it with magic missiles. And I'm just hiding. I'm just hiding behind it's, it. It works. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how much damage? Nine. Nine? Um, alright. <laughs> Still not down. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Doesn't even look damaged. I'm not. Now? It's looking damaged, but I mean, uh, you know, I'm not even playing. Okay. I'm actually not even playing this thing entirely straight. Um, it should no, have. I it should have even. Been dead at this point already. Yeah, yeah probably. Um, it's Tara's turn. You're back on on one HP. Well, a sane person would probably con consider running away, but he's God, he's not sane. He's just out to kill. So he jumps up, grabs his great sword. I guess I have to roll a D100 first before I do anything else. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yes, okay, indeed. Yeah. yeah. I succeed, I'm safe. <laughs> and then he swings at eight for seven, so he misses. Great. Nice. Um, good job. Good job. Yeah. Um, uh, can I do anything else? I, I think all my abilities take an action, so no. So he's just swinging wildly as he stands up and misses horribly. Okay. <laughs> um. That is, yeah, this is his first fight, guys. Uh, although, technically, like, if you were running this domes properly, you'd probably get here around, like, the 
fourth, third or fourth session, I reckon you, you might make it to this time. Um, so that is Taras' turn. It's the top of round ten. I don't think I've ever had a combat lasting this long, actually, in a very long time. Um, yeah, breaking records. Yeah, yeah. And I don't really like. I don't usually like long combats, but I kind of, I kind of like this one because it's just, uh, just such fuckery. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's just one like. Inspiration spells are actually are fading. Yeah. Um, he tries to recharge on a six. Oh, oh yes, he does. Oh, um, I hope he hasn't, hadn't, hasn't yet noticed me. He's, even though I swung at him. He's gonna try Zanton this time. So uh, he hasn't picked on him yet. So Zanton, charisma save, please. Come on, don't film me now. It's been a full minute of combat, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Oh, there you go. Ah, nice. Damn That's it. Six. Ah. I say some of that stick rubbed off on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a, that is a phrase. <laughs> <laughs> that is a thing which happens to me. Um, so that takes it to... Uh, that was uh, Shade. So, Saraf, you're up on one hit point. All right, I'm going to pick up my great sword and I'm going to roll the D100 and make sure. Oh, uh... oh God. Oh, okay. okay. I'm. Uh... Can I make an acrobatics check to see if I can like dodge the trap that's right in front of me to end up right next to it? Sure. To the. Yeah. Okay. All right. Roll D20. All right. Sorry. Give me one second. Twelve. Uh, a twelve is a hit. To to go well, that was for. Oh yeah, minutes. you're right. Yeah, we'll give it to you in a twelve. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. You've been hit by this thing enough. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, I'm not that cruel. Eleven. Aha! Eleven is just a miss. <laughs> no. Okay. Twelve. Twelve is the number you're looking now for. Oh, what we have to hit. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve is that number. Imagine number. We're learning things. Learning is good, but learning well, through we'll failure. Learning. Feel bad, man. <laughs> Ten rounds later, you learn the AC of the creature. <laughs> good lord. And thanks so much to Ginyu who donates five pounds. Uh, Stingor comes through a portal and stink blasts everyone to see how, who was the most holy. Uh, thanks so much, Ginyu, for the generous donation, my friend. So he's throwing an extra madness into the mix. God damn it, Ginyu. You... You naughty man. Um, so, uh, we're going to find an appropriate stanky token. Um, so let's just find a fog cloud. Um, I wonder if I can find some like green, some green cloud uh, here. Um, so you see, uh, just as you um, start to uh, green cloud. Let's let's use this. Wait, no. This one's this one's even better. This caustic green mess uh, comes in. Uh, and uh, from from here, kind of opens up a burning, stanky portal, um, and begins to uh, set about. It's going to roll initiative, um, and it, it is a bl it's kind of a dude, um, but it is pretty stanky. So this kind of stank envelops him. Uh, he rolled a seven, so he's going after Zunton in the initiative. So, so Stinkor is going there. Um, so that was Sarif's turn, right? Yeah, 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 I was the one to go last. Yeah, so Osmosis is up. Death save. Death, yeah, he's down, so he needs to roll a death saving throw again. Um, so he rolled a 17, one success. Man, <laughs> he's doing pretty good. Okay. <laughs> a visit from the plane of Stank. Um, man, that, that is rough, throwing an extra creature against these guys in this fight. Um, so it's Stick's turn. Well... Let's see if I am uh, still uh, heading for the heading for the hills. Yeah, you're so far away. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 You guys are on your own. Oh dear lord! That's what you're running outside. You are crawling. You're crawling up the shaft. <laughs> Good lord! What did that boy do? <laughs> Oh my lord, why did we bring him along? Is he dead again? I bet he's dead again, but I'm out, I'm out of here. I'm telling you, I'm gone. You're Audi, you're Audi. Um, you're Audi 5000. Out. <laughs> uh, Zanton, it's your turn. You've just successfully saved against a, a giant shade creature. Well, my illusion's still up, so it's a good chance it probably won't kill me, so let's just give it a uh, All right. How much are you willing to bet on that good chance? <laughs> Don't and, say that. Please. And thank you to 
nuclear explosion for following. Welcome to the adventure, my friends, your gentleman and a scholar. There you go. No doubt an American as well. Um, okay, so um, that is 13. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's see here. Yeah, um, uh. yeah not quite. Well, <laughs> <laughs> not quite. <laughs> Oh man. We're gonna uh, hear that phrase like eighty more times. Eh, um, not quite. Uh, it's so, it's so... Um so it is um it's like 120 HP. Yes. Uh it actually started with around a hundred. Um Yeah. Um on the book I think it starts with 136. Um But yeah, uh that was Zunton's turn, so it's Stinkor's turn. Um and that means that Stinkor is going to come into the fight. Uh, this big kind of caustic blob just kind of goes in and he says, Who is the stankiest? Uh, and steps in towards you to, uh, to hit Sarif for a 21 versus your armor class. <laughs> I think that hits. Hmm, maybe so. Um, so you're just going to take 1d8 stank damage. Um... <laughs> You take seven. Good, I'm down. Excellent. Um, <laughs> sure thing. Oh, so, uh, you 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 rip for the sec third time. Second. Second time. Okay. Uh, there's been a fair few downs this fight. Uh, that is uh, Tara's turn. Uh, yeah. Well, as I said earlier, he's crazy. He's not giving a fuck about that cloud. He's just fixated on that shade in front of him, and he goes for a huge swing with his great sword. And this time it hits. There we go. Yeah. For nice. eight damage. Eight damage. Mm. Uh. Not much. Uh. But, well. Let's see. Oh, that's enough. You kill it. Go ahead and. Oh. Go ahead and scratch me. <laughs> How you do After it? After killing it, you hear him shout. Uh, so, so he sees Sarath go down on the opposite side, and his black eyes start to flare as he just goes in and, with as much might as he has, he just swings at that shade, nice. and probably just cuts it from the top to the bottom into two. Nice. So, with a, a little help from from chat there, uh, you managed to defeat the shade creature. That's actually a side note. Uh, on this encounter, which says uh, this encounter is incredibly difficult. Uh, there have been five playtested groups. Uh, the the idea is that you don't actually you don't actually kill the creature. You try and like destroy the brazier, or uh, there's a bunch of different ways you can kind of puzzle solve the encounter. And and, he, and there's a side note which says every single group has tried to stick and kill the shade. Only one has uh, achieved that. So you guys, uh, group number two. Uh, who have ever managed yeah. to to defeat the shades? So good job. Look at that well, shit, mm -hmm. Yeah. If there weren't that other creature now. <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> there is unfortunately for you guys a, st a stanky creature um, by the side here, um, and that was Tara's turn. Yeah, the shade is dead, so it just goes to Sarah's turn, who is down. So death saving throw. Death saving throw. You know the drill. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, that's a good thing. Uh, that is a good thing. It is, yeah. Um, 15. Success. Uh, Ozeosmosis is on one success, zero failures. He's going to roll again for a fail. <laughs> God damn it. So he's on one success, one failure. Stick, it's your turn. You're all the way back up here, going, going up the, the shaft at this point. <laughs> this effect is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's that charisma save again, and we'll see if we can save it. Yeah. Let's see what we can do here. Come Let's on. Do it. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Damn it. <laughs> so am I like upstairs now? Am I like running back to the camp? <laughs> yeah. We'll say that you're <laughs> here above and just... <laughs> we'll just, uh, yeah, we, we'll put you there. I'm way back to the camp. You know what? I got a nice lady friend who was waiting for me. Y'all can take <laughs> all this crap down here because... You know, I, yeah, you know, was, we had a date, and this was just taking way too long. 
<laughs> never mind the poo in my pants. We're gonna focus on the date. <laughs> How is he still afraid it's <laughs> dead? Don't you worry. <laughs> oh man. At this point he's too far away to even know it's dead, so it's just the fear in his brain, in his mind, which is like, yeah, it's still alive, it's, it's coming to get me. Um yeah. now he has right. to sharp his knife in the drawer. No he ain't. That's true, yeah. Um <laughs> run to shivering into camp. So that is Zunton's turn. Well what the hell supposed to do with this? Now uh the illusion is still up, so will the uh, stank go for that first? It's possible he'd roll a wisdom save to see uh, if he if he sees the illusion. Oh shit! Well, based on what it looks like, I'm assuming it's what acid. Uh, yeah, stank actually. Mm hmm. You know, fire would be really nice. Like right now, just you know. Yeah. I'd love to help you out, but yeah. <laughs> but I'm screaming. Uh... Shit. Uh, you know what? Go for it. Worked so far. All right. Ye old magic missiles. Nice. 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 Not bad. Um, so you do it. Yeah, 13 to it. Uh, let's bring it back over here on the map. Um, so um, you, you deal 13 to it. Uh, and he just kind of stops and says, You are the stankiest. And then he just, like, puts down his stank weapons. <laughs> stank. I will take that as a compliment, good sir. Uh, and he says, uh, I gift you the stank weapon. <laughs> and he... I'm not, I'm not gonna move to pick it up, because then I'll die from a yeah. death. He... I'm just gonna sit there and wait and... These are weapons, right? He, he, um, yeah, they are, yeah. So, doesn't he have to roll to <laughs> He does, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> D100 on a 1, 2, or 3. Oh, Stinkor is going to explode. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Man. Baby. So, um, he just hands you this, this pot. Uh, pot of stank. Uh, mm -hmm. and he says... Huh? To this I give you, O oh Stank Warrior. I'm gonna bow a little bit. Um, I will accept this gift, um, O oh Lord of Stank. I'm gonna put it in my bag and just. Welcome, mortal. And thank you to Mortar for Fury, all capitalized. Today, eventually, you're a gentleman and a scholar. Thank you for joining us today, my friends. So, um, we're just three followers away, folks. From a now viewed decision, so if you haven't hit that follow button, join for five days a week of D&D, &D, 150 hours a month, a 24-hour D&D stream every single month as well, coming up in the next few weeks. So, um, yeah, there's a bunch of shit. And if you missed any of our shows, you could uh, subscribe to us on the YouTubes as well, and here's all of our social media shit. Uh, more importantly, though, you should go check out the domes. Uh, of Ishak Zahura on Kickstarter. Let's see if they've gone any further. They're still like $300 away from their goal with only a few days to go. So hopefully they can uh, they can get that. If not, I'm just going to pledge the last few hundred dollars, I think, um, to make it happen. Because this game has been honestly so much fun thus far. And the, the encounters uh, have been have been great and, and very varied and different. Like the, uh, the mechanics behind having a creature which doesn't make any attacks but just controls the players and makes them go into traps. It's, it's pretty unique and uh, and very fresh um, for rather than just a, a dungeon grind, you know. It's, it's quite different. I like it. Um, I know, story. Like, uh, you weren't here earlier, but I was saying I, I got four different dongers declined, all of which were much more phallic than this one, and then somehow they were like, yeah, yeah. Um, bring in the most graphically detailed, teeth-filled, Dripping with ooze, donga, bursting out from a wall. Yeah, fucking do it. Well, I'm like, great, great stuff, man. <laughs> so, um, so Stinkor is still standing here, uh, and he's just kind of like nodding slowly, approvingly, as Anton as he's holding his his pot of stank. Um, we'll say let's cut quickly back to back to um, Stick. Stick, you return to the camp. Um, Dear Lord. <laughs> you run back oh, to the camp. Wait. It's it's about that time, you know, because um, I guess really you, you'd spend your entire move 
at, to get there. So you'd been moving, like, dashing every turn rather than just six squares. You'd actually moving 12, I suppose. Um, so... He was under the camp, uh, and Gil's just out, like, doing some, some like, washing. Uh, the the effect, like, wears off the further you, away you get, and you start to come back to, like, sanity. Um, but she's she kind of turns and looks at you, and she's like, what? What? What is... What's... Are you okay? Well, hey there, darling. Uh, yeah, of course I'm okay. Are you okay? You just look kind of, uh... Insane, I suppose? Well, you know... I gotta tell you, have you been down in that dome? There, there's some, there is some terrifying stuff down in there. And I talk about true terror. I'm like worse than your mama, like at her maddest with a spatula coming after your ass. So you scary mean, stuff. So you're scared and run away. I wouldn't say run away. I'd say I made a very intelligent, uh, strategic uh, flanking maneuver for uh, far as I could get. And I'm here. Look, and, hi. Good to see you. And you left, that break? you left all your friends down there? Oh, they were all dead anyway. Or dying anyway. <laughs> right. Um, I, I think you should probably speak to Yorvis about that, seeing as you've, you, you know, you've failed in your mission. Wait, I am not a failure. Who are you calling a failure? <laughs> I, I mean, if you were a real man, you'd get back down there. Right? Ah, uh, hell, you didn't just play the real man card, did you? I was just thinking that's what you were just about to do anyway. Uh, well, you were correct. You were absolutely correct in your assessment. I am headed back there. You know what? I just needed to, I needed to get an extra torch. That's ah, right. Yes, yeah, so that, make, that makes sense. That was it. We ran out of torches, uh, so I just wanted to see. I got, oh, look, I have one in my pack. I'm just going to take this torch. They... Head on back there right yeah. now. They, I'll see you later for that drink. Darling. They run out so easily, don't they? Yes, uh, see, see you soon. <laughs> and then I imagine you begin, like, ah, running that way uh, back down to the dome. So uh, we'll I say. I walk and then run to try to get back quick, realizing yeah, yeah. that I probably left all my friends to die. To die. <laughs> so uh, we'll say it's a, a few minutes later um, and uh, stick. Stick returns um, to you guys um, as you're, you're kind of standing here with Stinkor and your your pot of stank uh, in the the trap room. Um, so let's hey, see. Hey, look at you! You guys killed it. Good for you guys. <laughs> I'm pretty injured, bro. I went down like three times. So these uh, gentlemen aren't doing too well, but I'm I'm not doing bad. It's kind of comes to doing. Hey, but Ozzy, man, think of the games. You know, you went all the way to failure three times. <laughs> that's like that's like games, bro. That's true, man. That is, I made some mad gains, bro. Mad, mad gains. gains, dude. Thanks, bro. You always make me feel better. Go for it, man. Woohoo! <laughs> Why did you like abandon us? You know, in like our time of need and everything. I had to get another torch. I wanted to make sure y'all could see it was dark in here. Right, got it. Makes sense. Torches. Good idea. Uh, I guess Tarasius will try to get to the injured ones and use his medicine skills as a paladin to uh, get them back up. So, uh, do sure. you, uh, you all take care of all these traps, or are they still doing scary stuff? Oh, no, the traps are selected. They'll recharge continuously. Get up, find where they all are, and not die. Yeah. Uh, so how are we going to get those guys out of there? <laughs> I haven't got a clue. <laughs> yeah, like, if we move, I think we'd have to, like, jump if we're on a trap, so... So, if I remember correctly, that means uh, our uh, our pointy horned, you know, the uh, the crimson gargoyle over there. He uh, he, uh, he he's standing on one, right? Yeah, it seems like. Uh... And, and the dead guy. Oh, is he dead? Are you okay? Are you okay, man? You're looking pretty rough over there. <laughs> Uh, someone better get to him before he dies. Yeah, uh, Tarazius is on that. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, how are you going to go about doing that? Uh, I thought about jumping over the, uh, the... I mean, was was there a trap? Did we see a trap trigger where the uh, shade stood? Um, no. Yeah, I don't think we saw a trap there. Okay, just in case I'm still jumping over to it, uh, to, to, uh, Sarath, and I did already did my medicine check. Alright, so, um, let me go back on here, I'm on my jukebox. Uh, so yeah, 16 medicine check is enough to stabilize him. So he's not going to die. And for the sake of, uh, one shot land here in which we exist, uh, Sarath will come back up on, on one hit point. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You for uh, considering yeah. everything. You know, it's great um, being uh, the the shield for uh, people sometimes. Yeah, I know. And he kind of looks at his own body all bloodied. <laughs> oh, you did it fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. Well, uh, I did the killing strike, so I'm happy. Hey, you all did great in here. I got a torch. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Sarah's gonna slowly turn and look at Stick. You're welcome. Now, let's focus on something more productive and let's find out where the traps are so we can get to that road. Don't you all think you might want to rest up and kind of well, like, tend your wounds? Well, first you gotta get the hell out of there because I don't know how to do We that. could take a short rest, yes. I'm just. That would I'm be great. Thinking, the longer we wait, the more crap is going to crawl out of the shades. Can I make a perception check to see uh, what these traps are all like linked to? If there's a way to like disable them all? Yeah, roll me a perception check. Okay. <laughs> Stinker is a power Argos and GJ Phylactery. DJ Phylactery. Uh, on a 12, you don't spot any system which links them all together. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, why don't we head back towards where we came in and take a short rest? Because uh, sure. I am held together by hope right now. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, I'm not going to make you guys uh, roll it for every, like, getting out of every single trap. So, um... Yeah, you guys can head back. Uh, you can move your tokens back to, to this area uh, where you kind of came from before, if you like to. Uh, Ozzy will come with you guys as well. Uh, so you guys can take a, take a nap. Uh, there's also a, a winch here if you wish to close the portcullis, like like so, and then close it down if you wanted to like block it off. And that's something you could do. Um, invisible door. I'll move you guys back here. Oh, yeah, I've got Banning as well. Thank you. <laughs> that's strange. I'll let them know about that. Um, I think that's all of us, right? Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Uh, and uh, Stinkor's just gonna wait here for a bit. He's chilling. So, um, do you guys want to winch the door down? Like the portcullis? Yeah. Okay. yeah, let's close the door, make sure nothing sneaks yeah. up on Nice. I'll take first watch. Well, are we going to take a long rest or a short rest? Oh, right. <laughs> Y'all tell me. I only need four hours for a full rest. Same here. Well, I need eight hours for a full rest. Well, what's the vote? Goddamn it, Elsie. Well, uh, considering how beaten up where we are, maybe we should take our, sh our long rest now. Mm -hmm. Even though it will be difficult later on to recover after that. Well, I'd rather go in prepared and in one piece. Indeed. Tired and beaten up. So, sounds good to me. I will take second watch then. I'll Darn take it. Man, I could have stayed back. I could have stayed back there with Wind. Got good night's sleep right there next to her. Well, whatever. <laughs> I brought the torch. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah, bring the torch. We really needed that torch. Really needed that torch. Y'all sleep well. I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you guys uh, take your rest. Why don't you roll me a perception check real quick here? Uh, it's all school. We'll see if we can uh, 
Person going, uh, oh, didn't want to do that. Bollocks. Let me save this here. Some awesome artwork in from. Uh, eyes. I am on top of it with that four. Nothing is getting by. Me. You are nailing this, man. You are nailing this. Um, <laughs> let me show this image Don't real quick. So, where y'all just sleep right on through? I've got you covered. Volonda uh, in chats on this amazing artwork. Uh, if you look on the stream, you'll be able to see it. Um, and I'll drop a link to it in the uh, the chat or retweet as well. Um, of you guys after defeating the boss. It's fucking awesome. Great stuff. Thanks so much, uh, Volonda. I need to call you, uh, you know, Lilan. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> cool. Yeah, you guys look awesome. Take that. Take nice. my gold, Volonda. Um, yeah, so you guys oh, taking up awesome. your. Yeah. <laughs> You guys taking up your rest, um, and uh, you, uh, Stick, do not see, until it's too late, the cock which enters your camp. Right. <laughs> My camp. <hair. laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's in fact, uh, by the time you kind of, you know, your eyes are kind of drooping, but uh, somehow it's made its way through the portcullis, uh, and there is a zombie chicken in your midst, um, which just, uh, goes towards you. Zombie chicken! Zombie chicken! There's a zombie chicken in the game! <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I mean, I want to point out one thing. If we all jump up now and grab our weapons, we have to grow a lot of D100s. I'm, f I'm guessing that's what you guys are doing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right? I mean, someone someone shouts zombie chicken, you jump up, you grab your weapon, you're an adventurer. So everyone, yeah. let's, yeah. uh, we just bring this uh, down here a little bit, so we can see the dice again. There we go. So, everyone roll me a d100. Best of luck to you. I forgot the chicken. <laughs> yeah. It was everyone around me, right? So it's not me. Uh... Yeah, not you, true, yeah. I, 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 I let that happen. <laughs> um, so, anyone roll a 1, 2, or 3? Nope. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, Aussie oh, should roll as well. You are not wrong. <laughs> so, um, Aussie's going to roll a 1d100. Oh, Phew, okay. Okay. Whew. That is lucky. <laughs> no one gives a shit about yeah. their characters, but they're like, Aussie? No, please. Um, <laughs> so, um, let's take that. So, yeah, there's a zombie chicken just kind of standing in front of you. Um, and. Bow, bow. Uh, uh, and uh, oh, it just man. kind of turns and goes. And goes. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, dear God, it's a talking zombie chicken. That thing is possessed. I'm going to just aim or point my sword at the talking zombie chicken and uh, in a as calm voice as I can. Why are you talking? Because I can. Okay. What do you want? Uh, it says, um, a few moments of your time. Okay. Are we, are we parlaying with a zombie talking chicken? I'm just making sure that I'm clear on the situation. Stick, I need you to double check, make sure you have that torch. Just because you never know. Okay. Why. Um, okay, you have... Well, well uh, everybody else, are we, are we speaking with this thing? Well, considering our last fight almost killed us, we should probably try to talk first. Okay. I'm curious, is speaking just in common? It is, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, got our attention. <laughs> and um, this, this chicken has eyebrows. Um, <laughs> it's a zombie chicken, don't... Great time to introduce that little detail. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> meta gamers. Uh, <laughs> so um, it says, uh, "Well, <laughs> now that I have your attention, 
Let me tell you something. In that room that you just entered, there is a passage down into a lower dome within which lie some very powerful artifacts I was hoping you could get your hands upon. You have my attention. Well, hold on a second here. Uh, hold the phone. <laughs> You're an undead chicken telling us to go pick up some artifacts because you want us to hold on to them? Let's not be hasty. All Did I we... want to do is lay some eggs. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but can I insight check the chicken? You can insight check my cock, yes. Oh, good. <laughs> Dude, you, you like set yourself up for that one. Yeah, you, you set him up, I knock him down. <laughs> well, I rolled a seven. It's, it's very tough to read a cock, um, as <laughs> ladies, uh, I'm sure, um, and, and gentlemen, we're all aware of. Um, yeah, you, you don't get much of a read off of uh, off of Zegbert here. Can Terrazas try to, to inside check that cock? Yes, you may. <laughs> because he's actually quite good at reading people. <laughs> Seventeen. Seven to the perfect cock reading number. Uh, it is the perfect cock reading <laughs> number. <laughs> so. I just tried that. <laughs> Um, you, um, yeah, you, you sense that the, the chicken cock might be hiding something from you. I mean, it must have some motivation, right? Yeah. Well, what's your name? How shall we address you? I was Egbert in life, but now I am Zegbert in well, death. Well, Zegbert... I don't trust you. I'm feeling you... You must have a motive besides wanting to lay axe to get these artifacts. Also, you say powerful artifacts, that means powerful guardians too. Maybe, but uh, very well. I, Well, one of Lee's artifacts might be able to bring me back to my true form. That's why I want you to go down there. Ah, we're hearing the truth. Can I, um, can I speak to the chicken in, uh, in Draconic? Give it a go. Is, uh, is that you, my lord? Yes! Is this it is. Yes, it is! Says the chicken un unconvincingly in Draconic. <laughs> I am your master. Then you have guided me here to find what I've sought. I I believe this fine chicken to be uh, to be telling the truth. I believe he's trying to help us. I think you are a naive fool. I think we got no choice if we're going to try to do anything in this here this here dome. Hell, yep. he walks 20 feet, we almost got ourselves killed. Yes, that's so, true. No, I, I was doing okay. But I think he can help. He can tell us more than he did. <laughs> I'm betting he's been here for a while. Have you been to the lower level where these artifacts are? I ask the chicken. Cool. All right, sorry, I had to do something. The chicken's thinking very hard. What did you say, the chicken? <laughs> uh, have you been to the lower level where these artifacts are? No. So how do you know that they're there? I know these things. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to be able to offer us any help. But well, I, I can, I can, I can come them. with you. Of course, I'll travel with you happily. Just out of curiosity, do the traps harm your undead buddy? Or can you just walk through them and it doesn't matter to you? 
Well, if I... Well, they, they, they will hurt me, yes. Oh. Too bad. I'm going to just slightly inch towards the chicken with my sword out, just because. Okay, it starts to kind of back away as you get closer. Doesn't seem comfortable. <laughs> um, so, hold up there, buddy. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I, I kind of go over the chicken. I go, okay, Zegbert, buddy, pal. Yes. Got to do that with me. So we got to get through that there room over there. The one that mm. has all the traps and craziness in it. Yes. Get down below. I got one question and one question only. Can you turn off them bear traps? Of course, why didn't you ask before? Ding, 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 buddies, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do this. Does someone else oh, feel that impulse to just punch the shit out of this chicken right now? Well, if he can at least disable the traps, I feel like after that he's outlived his usefulness. Oops, did I say that out loud? <laughs> just a knowing nod from Tarasius. <laughs> Okay, buddy. If we're gonna have this 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 as our fellow companion, we need to all respect the cock, man. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Rule number one. And we should all have mutual respect for each other. So you just need to respect the cock. You Sorry, have my I promise. Have I won't block the cock. <laughs> Forgive me, Twitch. <laughs> I will remain silent. How's that? <laughs> Good job. All right, and so um. Yeah, you um That's all uh, I could do. You you head out uh into the, the room, uh and uh Zigbert has deactivated the trap somehow. Um he's he's good like that. Um the portcullis comes comes with you as well actually. Um <laughs> and we take it with us. With that good. We can really back, yeah. Um some powerful spell casting going on there. Um as you make your way through and, and Stinkor is like, I will come with you. Um as the Stank Lord himself travels with you. Along the more the better. It's gonna it's a party now. Bring bring that bring that bear uh brazier with you. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> as uh as walking with us. With us. Fortress, some dead rats. <laughs> <laughs> as it walks with us, I'm gonna turn and look at Stinkor and Wait, didn't that thing Knock me out last time? Uh, it was a love tap. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah just don't, don't worry about that. He, he's, he's fine. He's fine. Okay. Sure. Do you give so, his pot or stank? I don't know what it is, but it's, it's probably good. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, the, uh, the chicken's egg burp just kind of shows you. Let me bring it here back on the map. Uh, shows you, uh, to where this, uh, like skeleton guys on the throne. And he says, if you will please pull apart the throne, behind which you will see the secret entrance. I'm gonna stay back here, if that's cool with everybody. Hmm. Before I do that, I would like to check if the skeleton has anything of worth with it. I mean, we are here to get treasure, so maybe some rings or something like that. Sure thing. So, um, let's move you here. So, um... You step up to the skeleton, and the ground falls out below you uh, into uh, a 60-foot pit. Can you roll me a dexterity saving throw, please? Uh, God <laughs> damn it. I'm going to kill that chicken. Yeah, I fall. Uh, yes, you do, my friend. So, um, on a 9 dexterity, you fall away down, and hit the spikes down the bottom as well. Oh, it's going to be no. pretty painful stuff. You take 21 damage. I'm down. I'm not dead. I'm down. Oh my god. You're down the bottom oh, of like buddy. a 30 foot pit with spikes in you. Um, oh my. And Zegbert just kind of like. <laughs> it's time to roll initiative. I, I... You are shish kebab down there. That, 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 that's got to hurt. That's probably pretty painful, yeah. Yeah. So we're rolling initiative? <laughs> it sounds like it. Look, I keep messing up my rolls here. Sorry, guys. All right, give me a few seconds here, folks. Trusting intelligence on me, chicken. Maybe not the best idea. 
Wait, we're, ro we're rolling initiative? Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. Good lord. Okay, so, um... Sarif, what is your roll? Uh, actually, now that I realize it, uh, 15. Okay. Uh, Stick, what about you? 12. Okie dokie, um... 12 for Stick, what about Zonton? 16. Okay, 16, much better. Uh, roll for Tara as well. Tara has a 5. Five. Rest in peace. So. I mean, it's kind of fitting. I mean, he just fell into a pit and is unconscious again. It's true. It's true. Uh, we're gonna keep Osmosis Jones on a thirteen. Um, <laughs> way to clock it up. <laughs> you guys are the worst. So, um, uh, turn. Yes, yeah, Stangor is gonna go on a seven. So, uh, the turn order is gonna be Zegbert, Zonton, Saraf, Osmosis, Stick. Stinkor and Tara. So, top of round one, Zegbur is actually going first. Um, and Zegbur is the treacherous rogue chicken who previously killed some adventurers. We'll see if he can pull it off again. Um, believe it or not, this stuff isn't in the module. He's going to hit Stick. Uh, oh, no, you didn't. I was like preaching for you and for yeah. <laughs> good you. That's an 11 and an 8. Yeah, buddy. An 11? Uh, no, 13. Alright, so that's Zegbert's turn, he misses. He goes in with the beak, but he doesn't hit. Zonton, it's your turn. What did I ex expect? Um, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna pluck your hide, boy. Is he gonna use nope. feather from? <laughs> He's pretty small, yeah? He's... So, uh, uh let's see. could I... Try and mage at him and push him into the hole? Sure. Ooh! I hope I get the net 20 after that so I can... It's gonna be a, um... Arcana check, I guess? Because Mage Hand technically doesn't do that, but... Let's see. Let's give it a look. <laughs> We're gonna shoo him in there? That would work. Well, this isn't the module for you guys straight play the book. Um, so 17, you're gonna move Zegba here onto the very edge he's not quite in yet but he's kind of fluttering on you know he's like flapping his little chicken wings um trying trying to uh, stay on the edge here uh Saraf, it's your turn all right i'm going to uh can i use athletics uh can i like walk up and use athletics to see if i can kick him onto the platform sure okay let me see if i do this right <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six. No, not enough, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> um, I tried. <laughs> give it a go. Give it a good go. Um, so, no luck there. Uh, Osmosis Jones uh, is going to okay. come in, and Ozzy's going to try and fly kick. This is uh, the dome? I don't know. Uh, to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> for oh, a, yeah. a 22 and Osmosis Jones kicks Zegbert down into the pit uh, where he is skewered upon these many spikes um, and um, he, he just kind of flutters down um, and he uh, yeah he doesn't have Featherfall unfortunately Zegbert is a rogue so um, God, rest in peace Zegbert 2016 to 2016 um and leaving you guys uh, above here um, with the, the traps there um, and your friends still trapped down below. So uh, we'll kind of go out the initiative order because not in combat, but Tara is still downed and <laughs> um, he needs to be saved. So Tara, can you roll me a death saving throw real quick? A death save, of course. Yes. Yeah, I have one success. Okay, good stuff. So he's got one success, but he needs to be... Needs to be helped here, really. So, what are you guys doing? 60 feet, that's a, that's a long rope. It's a long rope. Uh, well, we got 50 feet of rope that they gave us. If anybody light wants to see if they can hold onto a rope and climb down there, and the rest of us can hold onto the rope from up here and lower him down slowly so that he can ideally grab our fallen comrade and bring him back up, that would be my thought. Um, I'm 
probably the lightest, I'm thinking. Okay. Um, so. Can I roll like a sleight of hand or like a dex check to see if I can tie the rope around his waist safely? So basically it's not going to like untie or anything like that? <laughs> sure thing, roll me a dex uh, saving throw. That sounds good. This is quite a clucky situation. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think it's rather unclucky, really. <laughs> uh, be a 12. 12 is not great. You kind of throw it... It's down there, but it's not kind of wrapped around him. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I meant around um, Santal. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. You wouldn't even need to roll for that, sorry. <laughs> I was okay. on the wrong impression. <laughs> no, I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, you, you toss it around him. Okay. Well, well done we go. All right. Stick, you want to hold onto the rope with me? Uh, sure will. Ozzy, you want to back me up too? Ozzy, let's see you use those muscles. You keep bragging about. Totally, bro. I got this. Like, totally got this. Like, <laughs> totally. Um, so, you can roll me a quick acrobatics check. I'll give you uh, advantage on this one to kind of dive down into the tunnel. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Foul oh, adversary. Goddamn. Uh, so a 12, uh, it takes you a little while to get down here. There's some awkward tugging and pulling on the rope. Um, but um, you, you get your way down here and you manage to kind of loop him up and kind of grab him up and start to repel back upwards. So you have Tara with you um, and you return to the, the kind of surface here um, where he's you know, clearly bleeding out and still needs some medical attention. So um, Stick, what are you going to do about that, if anything? Uh, well, I don't have no medical training. Uh, oh, boy. oh, hey, but I, I got this, uh, I got this, uh, potion to heal it that my, 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 my lady friend gave me. I'm going to, uh, sure. put, give it to, uh, to my buddy here because he, uh, he's kind of looking like, like he's ready for a barbecue on shish kebab or shish kebab on a barbecue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, then. So you feed him the, the healing potion and, uh, that kind of brings him back up to one, uh, hit point. Um, you kind of drinks it down, um, and you, you're careful not to give him the, the potion of love, um, <laughs> because that would have been uh, a totally would have been bad. Put, would have been, bad. Um, <laughs> would have been interesting. Uh, but he becomes spluttering back up to the um, back to consciousness. Uh, you check out the kind of chair and the skeleton, and a, it was clearly a, a terrible, a foul lie <laughs> from. Uh, Zegbert, uh, as there is no passage down, there is no ancient artifact, he just wished to attempt to kill you, the bastard. That fucking chicken betrayed us, man. Is there anything of that. value on the skeleton? Yes, it has some uh, old-looking necklaces uh, and jewelry upon it, which you could probably sell to Yorvis. Um, I'm going to... Is this spot over here... I'm going to take my sword and kind of press down on that panel to see if it falls away. Okie dokie, and thank you to Kirk George for following. Welcome to the adventure, my friend, your gentleman and a scholar. Good to see you, my friend. So, um... This cracking buns, too. Goddamn. Um, shave off the chicken eyebrows? Goddamn, that's fucking savage. Um, so which panel did you, which panel did you want to have a look at here? Uh, the one direct, like, directly next Ooh. to where the dead chicken is. Oh, nice. Highlight. Sure. So, uh, it opens up into a room. Uh, and this room, uh, this is Saraf checking this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this room is here. Uh, let me bring you here. You see that? Oh, give me one second. Kind of Sorry. over the left hand side. I can. Uh, oh, I can yeah, I see it. Drag you over there if you guys aren't there. Uh, there we are. And there's a room filled with treasure and chests. I'm going to check for traps. <laughs> I do not trust any of this. Roll me a perception check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> a wise yeah. man. Nat yes. 20. Ooh, yep. nice. Um, nice. So uh, I'll bring these out of... GM overlay real quick. You do spot three pitfall traps, uh, which are here. Okay. Um, I'm going to maneuver basically around maybe here um, and check whatever chests and grab what I can. 
Um, sure. You find the equivalent of around a thousand gold uh, in <laughs> gold and jewelry. Yeah, buddy. I'm going to kind of keep moving around the room. Um, oh, actually, before I do any of that, I'm going to kind of call to the uh, the guys up in the other room and let them know a where the traps are and b that there's a whole bunch of treasure in here. Okay. Good idea. You guys see this room, uh, and you know, I imagine together you guys like haul out as much treasure as you can carry between yourselves. Oh uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so when he calls that, you see uh, Tarasius standing over the pit where the the uh, cock is, and yes. he unties his pants, pulls out his donger, and just pees on him. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> revenge. Well, well meaned, sir. Well meaned. Um, <laughs> Take that, you cock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, man, I thought we were going to have some zombie chicken barbecue later. Well, I guess yeah. that, that, never mind. There, go, there goes that dream. Oh, um, man, that's cold. I approve, but that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what else do you guys want to do whilst you're in here? Uh, is there anything else in this room? Like, is there a lot more stuff, or is that the thousand? Like, that's the kind place? of, you know, you, yeah, you, you search around. That's kind of the total stuff that you get. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, I will join everybody back up at the other room, then. Nice. Okie dokie. Well. Well, that turned to be profitable after all. Yeah. I'd almost say that we could go ahead and leave this place. Well, we could go back to our contractor, report in, take a night of sleep, and return tomorrow. <sighs> That's right, there's still the other adventurers in here, right? But I don't think we should push on right now. I'm kind of feeling not too well right now. Yeah. And I'd he say kind let's... of points at his, at his belly, which is riddled with holes. Yeah, let's let's report back, get a good night's sleep, come back in tomorrow. All right. Stick bends over, it's like he, can, he looks through the holes. Dude, I can like see right through you. Almost, and uh, then he lays his hands on his own chest and heals himself for as much as he can. Nice. So, um, you guys uh, head back to the camp uh, and report to, to, to Yorvis. Um, and so, um, Yorvis is very excited to um, to see you guys, of course, uh, and he says, uh, Oh, it, it's, it's, it's great you're here. Uh, how, did, how did it go? How did, you've got a lot of holes in you. How, how did it go? Oh, it was fun. Painful, but fun, yes. Great, great. Did you, did you find anything? Um... A no. cock? We found a cock. Yeah, we found a, a zombie chicken. Oh, Zegbert, great. Well, yeah, he's dead now. I'm sure yeah, he's Os... Bastard, that one. I'm yeah. sure Osmosis is pretty cut up about it, but... Uh, he'll make it, he'll make it. <laughs> yeah. It looks like you got some jewelry there. I'd be happy to uh, oh, give me oh, give me a look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, he he kind of scoops it up in his little hands. And he says, "I give you uh, hmm, three hundred gold for this." Um, I not think... to oh, you go for it, you sir. Okay, um, Tarasius is at a point where he's not up for any shenanigans, so. He builds himself up, looks stairs down at the gnome, and, uh, listen, buddy, we went through so many traps to get to this little bit of treasure. You'll pay us fairly, or I'm going to bury you here right now. Well, I don't really appreciate the frets, but I do appreciate that you did work hard for it, so I'll give you 400 gold, that's a fair price. Consider it danger pay. Can I roll an in intimidation to see if I can get even more out of that? Sure. Can I can I help him? <laughs> sure. Ooh, natural oh, natural nice. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I don't think he needs my help. I, I think he's I think he's good. Um. So it's I mean eight eight hundred eight eight hundred yeah. Eight hundred. He looks through the others. That sounds fair, doesn't it? Looks for me. Very surprising. Yes. 
Okay, we take the Yeah, I, 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 okay. One scary mofo when you try. <laughs> yep, I won't be hiring you again. Uh, <laughs> great, so, um, that, well, um, uh, Thank you for complete. Of course, I'm sure you want to rest up and find the other adventures. You can do that tomorrow, of course. You know, spend a night here, meet the others. You know, spend some time with Gil. Am I right, Stick? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I actually was just heading that way. Oh, well, uh, well, fair travels to you, Len, my friend. <laughs> you know, we can still hear you snickering, right? Oh. All oh, right. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, keep it down. Yeah. It's my. Uh... <laughs> Press the digitation, uh, sorry. <laughs> so, so, um, you guys head back out into the Gravenite sleep. I'm sure Stick heads off to, to meet Gil, so, uh, so she, she kind of turns, just like, oh, back so soon? Did you find the... Oh, yeah, we actually found some stuff this time. My torch helped. It was the whole reason that we were able to do what we were able to do, you know, because otherwise we'd just been around the dark, you know, everyone... Uh, credited me with uh, with us finding. Oh, look, I brought you a necklace. Oh, that that is that is. Oh, thank you. I mean, I went into your Mrs. voice for a second. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, breakfast. You say what? What is this? Uh, oh. It's pretty. I mean, oh, well, thank you. It's this it's looks green. See, I think that's that, that's like a magic. That, that it's magic. Oh. It, it's a magic stone. It, uh, it, uh, yeah, it's magic. That's what it is. Magic. Oh, magic. Uh -huh. I, I see. Uh, well, um, you're obviously a very powerful sorcerer, um, to, to, to see the magic within this. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's go inside and we'll eat this. Yeah, let's do, baby. Breakfast, I guess. Um, <clears throat> yeah, what well, you like for breakfast? But mostly it's only eggs around here, really. Oh, Lord. Instant turn off. Good Lord. Oh, God. You know, that osmosis, he does things with eggs that I just are not right. Sometimes I... sometimes he puts them on his chest and makes me fry them with my magic. Darling, that's just not right. But uh, <laughs> you can... Uh, you can cast it. You can cast any spell you want on me. I think you already cast a spell on me. She says. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I down the uh, that pink potion that you know, and in my eyes looks more like a blue pill, and just whoop, 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 and walk on in. All right then, and the scene fades to black um, as we. Um, I mean, it was a perfect point to, to wrap up our episode of Domes of Itch Shagzahur here. Um, after playing through five sessions for the Domes and getting through a, a whole load of content. So, um, I'll keep the, the smooth jazz going, guys. I know how much you enjoy it. So, um, <laughs> let's, um, let's go around. What did you guys think uh, of the, the, the session? Let's know in the chat. Also, if you haven't checked out Domes here... Please do check it out there. Um, they're so close to completing their Kickstarter campaign, and it would be wonderful for them to um, back fully and to maybe even hit some of those stretch goals. So see what can happen. A lot can happen in four days on Kickstarter. So looking forward to that being a success. Um, also, if you enjoyed today's show, hit that follow button and join us um, to catch all of the rest of our shows. Um, I might do an hour tomorrow. I usually don't, but we'll see what I'm up to. Um, but the full schedule is here, which you can find here. I'm here Sunday through Thursday, five nights a week, 10 shows a week, 150 hours every single month. So, um, if you enjoyed today's show, hit that follow button and join us. Here's all of our social media. Follow me on Twitter for more updates and news and shit. Uh, I'm always tweeting D&D news, um, there's coloring books and stuff. Someone tweeted to me today, so I tweeted that out. Uh, and about the new Ranger build as well. If you haven't checked that out, then uh, go ahead there. Because um, there's a cool link to that. Um, oh, damn. <laughs> nice slide. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, let's go around and thank our players for playing in this, this kind of soft, sexy jazz backdrop. Um, so so speak smoothly. So, um, correct to. Um, <laughs> did you enjoy today's adventure, my friend? And, yes. Uh, um, you know, drill. I'm not much into uh, Sadamazo, but despite that, my character survived. It's been awesome, been um, quite the challenge, to be honest. I didn't expect to be. Yeah, the dome's challenging. 
again, I, I mean, to be honest, our greatest threat were traps, not the enemies, enemies themselves. Yeah, so, and and uh, yourselves, I'd, I'd argue. <laughs> Your greatest yeah. enemies. But it's fun. Uh, I enjoyed yeah. it and uh, looking and forward to maybe do this once more. Sometime. Yeah, definitely. Uh, do you have any projects that you'd like um, folks to, uh, to, to look into, follow, chat? Well, uh, I don't have a link at hand right now, but I recently released a little homebrew for Flintlock Firearms on the DM scale. I actually have that for you, um, because I yeah. favorited it earlier. There you go. I wasn't lying. So, I did favor uh, it. It's not much, it's just the beginning. Just got started on it, four pages so far. Check it out, it's for free. Just put in a zero if you don't want to pay anything and uh, have fun with it. I think it's awesome. Flintlock awesome. rolls. Yeah, cool. Uh, Tool School, what's up, man? Oh, man, always a blast playing uh, with yeah. you guys. Lots of fun. Uh, this is one of my uh, fun characters I love to do, so uh, <laughs> he. Uh, uh, is always always brings uh, something interesting to the party, or even when he's running away. So, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> he always brings something interesting, like torches. <laughs> yeah, like torches. Uh, Usually torches. Yeah, so uh, about the most uh, things that I do are actually right here on Encounter Roleplay. You'll see me on Mondays in the new campaign that Will is starting. Uh, yeah. I tell you more about that, and then uh, I also show up when I can for little one shots. Uh, they're a lot of fun. And uh, you can follow me just at Tall Squall on Twitter if you want. Uh, and uh, also uh, Tall Squall on Instagram. So uh, yeah, always awesome. Blast. Awesome stuff. Uh, let's head on over to Michael. What's up, Michael? Uh, I said this was actually really fun. I haven't played in, I can't tell you how many years, 10 years at least, probably. Wow. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I was awesome. super excited to play this, and had a fantastic time. It was so fun. Um, Good. We want to do it again, hopefully. Again. Definitely, so, yeah, definitely. Let's make it happen. Awesome. Um, uh, any projects you do you want to shout out? Uh, I am actively writing fanfic for both D and D in general and League uh, for Shadowrun, and you can find me on uh, Twitter at Rethic. Awesome stuff. Um, and finally, uh, Mr. Joseph. Hey guys. Um, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I like hitting things twice. Yes. Because uh, that's, you know, that's what I do. Um, and I'm now an avid um, believer in Osmosis Jones and his message. Of course. I, think there's, uh, I think there's so much he can bring to the world. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, this was fun. Uh, it's nice to just sit and relax and do a little one shot um i don't really have any projects going right now um but if you guys want to follow me on twitter it's kurt joseph 0204 or um if you want to follow me on instagram it's kurt joseph 2242 reason for the name thing is actually i am an indie wrestler and uh i, oh. I yeah That's weird cool. yeah it's cool. i you know it, Me too. If you guys want to, you know, look at my Instagram for the weird, <laughs> dirty wrestling-related posts. By all nice. means, and uh, that's there you go. Where can we uh, follow you on Twitter? Uh, Kurt Joseph zero two zero four. All right then. So uh, you can go follow folks there. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for an excellent week. It's been a bit shorter because I was uh, ill. I was traveling on Monday and I was kind of ill on Tuesday. So we only did a bit on Wednesday and then all of today. So I might try and make it up the next hour or so if I can fit it in tomorrow. But usually I try and take Fridays off just for sanity's sake. Uh, and I'll definitely be back on Sunday. But if you want to know if I'm streaming, then you can either follow me to get the update when I go live or just follow me on the Twitters. Uh, I'll tweet it there uh, whenever I go live and an hour before I do as well. So um, yeah, that is... Um, that is all for tonight, guys. I'll leave you with the sexy jazz uh, and with the, <laughs> the, firm, the firm knowledge that Zigbert will somewhere be in heaven waiting to return in a viewer decision at some point or, or another. Um, once again, there's the Domes link. It's been a wonderful uh, few weeks of playing through the Domes. I would highly recommend it myself. Uh, obviously, uh, it's paid promotion, so uh, we're paid to play it, but uh, I reserve my right to have an honest opinion on things, so I'll tell you guys if it's shit. Uh, and I don't pick things that are shit, hopefully. So, um, yeah. Domes is fun. Go play it. Go get your own Zigbert. 
and uh, go back on Kickstarter. But yeah, until then, guys, uh, I'll either see you guys tomorrow or I'll see you guys on Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern. So until then, folks, try not to roll too many nat ones. <laughs> to say, put tweet on Twitter via me, via at Encounter Roleplay. Uh, try to watch too many internet ones because we want to be here laughing when you do. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Bye, folks. <laughs>